we're good to get kicked off. So, welcome one and all to the Opus Magnum Tournament 2024 stream. This is week two, Local Anesthetic. This puzzle was chopped and changed quite a lot from Inception. There were... I'm curious what the original one was then. I'll have to dig it up um, later on. But, there, yeah, I don't have it on hand. But there were a lot of iterations. I can tell you, the output itself was originally um, Earth. And the puzzle was had, had something... It was air freshener or something. And I believe it was a different output shape entirely yeah that's right i remember the output shape now so yeah. that's why the input is earth that's actually why the input is earth it's a it's a remnant from the previous iterations <laughs> of the puzzle um, yeah i thought that was weird it almost never matters here's the original shape of the puzzle that was the output and it was <laughs> Ooh. That what is. are the bonds um has the like same like shape? on an edge point of symmetry yeah x shape uh Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That looks like you can stick an item Miss Glyph right in the center. <laughs> <laughs> Suggestive, yeah. You could, but that ended up being a shit idea. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, so that was kind of, yeah. So we scrapped it and came up with this with a lot of help from Shadow Cluster. Um, this shape was born. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was designed first and foremost for area. And then we're trying to think of a second metric. And it pretty quickly came down to, do we do Tarkles or TI? And my playtesters all talked to me out of doing TI. I figured week three would be TI because you were hoping to have me on. So we'll find mm. that one out. But... Mm. It might be cycles. <laughs> perish, the thought, perish the thought best. <laughs> no cycles from Zornflax. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I consider week zero cycles to be the reason that cycles isn't coming up soon enough. But it's going to be week three soon enough. And there are yeah. only seven weeks. It's already two weeks in between. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe we're approaching halfway through. Yeah, right. It's 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 felt short but long at the same time. Surprise computation. Mm-hmm. Suppressed computation. Yeah, so yeah, so the calcification I didn't think it was completely trivial. Cali Racist mentioned it costs him tackles. Um oh. yes, Josh, oh. you are welcome to post the OG shape in the channel. Um Yeah, I I I, I, I kinda liked keeping calcification in for area two because it's just another glyph you gotta yeah, put down. Yeah, there's like things you have to consider. It probably goes in the hole. Exactly, and it's like you like we always like seeing shit in the hole, and that's a calcifier is just another glyph that you have yeah, to one, worry one, about. One hole is for a calcifier, the other hole is for the equilibrium mm -hmm, or the definitely. input. <laughs> definitely, you literally just saying you like seeing shit in the hole, and I cannot not laugh at that. I'm, I'm sorry, Biggie. I'm sorry. I, that the thought crossed my mind as well as it came out of my mouth. I'm like, wait, right, <laughs> right, yeah. I, <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, without further ado, I think it's time to get cracking on Tarkles, which is where we'll be starting. Let's do Tarkles. Apparently, I'm the Tarkles main. I'm supposed to talk about this song. <laughs> <laughs> what number are we starting at? Are we starting in the thousands, at least? All right, let me reopen my AHK. Yeah, we'll be starting in with four digits. I can tell you that much. All right, uh, we will probably skip a few of these solves because a few of these might be areas, but uh, we'll be starting at 48th place with River Soul. So everyone made top 50. Everyone at least... Yeah, everyone Let's made top go. 50. There you go. Nice. You're all top 50, everyone. Yo, top 50. Um, oh, wow, all the trap. Oh yeah, it's four digits, all right. Yeah, so we're starting out at three thousand nine hundred and fifteen. This one has a fair amount of track. That's an interesting assembly. They're doing a lot of bonds before they do the debonding, which is a brick style of solution. So, hey, good good intuition. So 
So yeah, um, so how did you guys find the pro- how did you girls find the process of, <laughs> um, find the process of just solving, like, when you- because looking at the puzzle, first off, it looks scary, but do you, do you actually find it scary, or? It's an input I, center with three elbows, but with four elbows. Yeah, what I what I noticed pretty quickly is that if you build the wrong output in any way, but you're doing it the right way, then you can either flip, your flip the miss. input or you can flip yeah. the output, and it'll always mean that the output is now correct. Like there's a symmetry yeah. to it, that even though it well, looks I mean, kind if of you, if you build the elbows and then you build the, but if you build the elbows yeah. around the input, I found that's how it would work. Yeah, basically, assuming you're building uh, elbows, which each elbow consists of one Vitae, one Mors, and one one Salt, and it's always the same direction from left to right, like clockwise. So yeah, yeah. arguably... All the, the elbows have the same chirality. Yeah, so arguably the simplest great. way to break... <laughs> sorry. Um, arguably the simplest way to break down this puzzle, and I'll zoom in just a touch here, um, is to build this three atom... Moore's Salt Vitae, right? And you do that, you can do that four times, and all four of them just go on with a, onto a, a Vitae Moore's core, so, which is one of the inputs. Now, that's which great. Which is a bitch to pivot on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, and you don't just get one atom for the core. So, that's, in, in, and that kind of introduces kind of the start of the geometry woes. Um, cause mm -hmm. you don't just get one atom that you can pivot on repeatedly. You have two different cores, um, which can fuck up your spacing a bit. Um, and also, yeah. the Vitae Moors bonded together. That's all well and good for the core, but they're not bonded together for the elbow. So you got to unbond them, squeeze in an earth atom, calcify oh, yeah. it somewhere, and, <laughs> and then and then bond it onto your core. So, so many steps. I remember the day that I started thinking about this puzzle seriously. I was in my head thinking about a way to have both inputs in a hex arm and have the end result be that elbow. You can't and just have like, one hex arm, right? Well, you can. You can do a single hex arm and do like the film crystal bonding, unbonding, oh, pivoting, and rebonding. A smaller and hex arm, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I started out with on Tarkles. That was my like mm -hmm. early solve that was really hard for me to beat for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I was like envisioning how to make those elbows, and that starts this puzzle, and it makes the rest of it not that hard. Yeah. All right. Jumping down to 47th place, we have Jason with 3,370. We're still in the 3,000s. Which is the cycle count times 10 if you add up the tracks and arms. This one saves a track on the previous. Is this a with solve? <laughs> Uh, this does not particularly strike me as having with vibes, although kinda, actually. This gives me New Solution 1 vibes, and it has the title to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally it says it just, right there. I can solve this puzzle, let's solve this puzzle. Um, Jason writes in the notes, made this in the first 20 minutes I found this week. If you read, th if you read this, know that I didn't come back. Yes, that seems like it matches exactly the vibe I got. It. <laughs> well, I was hearing people dis earlier describe Tarkles, because, alright, uh, I, hopefully I said this before now, but in case you're watching on YouTube and I haven't yet described tar what Tarkles actually is, um, it is the number of track hexes. So here there are six track hexes. There's a triangle and a three line plus the number of arms and then you take that number and times it by a cycle count so you, you kind of heavily punish for using track is the idea but other than that it's cycles times arms but you punish for using track mm -hmm. um and in and, and that's all that, 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 that sounds pretty confusing but the general vibe of tackles i was having I seeing a lot of people describe Tarkles as some but you can use piston or some but blank or whatever. So I like to describe it more like TI but you don't have to care about I. Yeah, or or T I but you don't have to care about I. So it's a bit like it's a bit some adjacent, a bit T I adjacent. I'm not entirely sure which it's more similar to, but I do kind of understand the comparisons because yeah. 
Tarkles has its own vibe, but it does strike me as a bit Sun-like and a bit TI-like. Which might explain why I enjoy the metric so much. Because <laughs> I had an absolute blast when Best did Tarkles um, originally in 2022. Mm-hmm. My experience with Tarkles on the tournament puzzle that Best hosted was I made one solution and then couldn't beat it all week and then got frustrated when that was like the 20th place solution and someone had this huge oh. pile of a much, much better Tarkles score. So this time I try to look a little bit more at other options. Hopefully that's mm -hmm. the result. I probably not. I'm probably not doing good at my own metric. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. In 46th place, at, we'll take a bit of a drop here to 1,980. Whoa, tarkles. we're skipping the 2,000s. We just <laughs> straight up skipped them. No scoring solves at 2,000. 1,980 tackles, Matrix V. Person still that using sounds... track or nah? A lot of stuff. Oh, whoa. They're just speed. This is All cycles. Track. Cycles is taken into consideration here. This is funny. They just, yeah, 14 tracks and 16 arms, but the cycle count is min plus three. So, Grievy said something previously about, like, the lowest arms at their cycle count. Well, I'm sure if Grimmy doesn't have 14 no, the, tracks the and lowest... 16 arms, <laughs> the lowest cycle is at the arm count. Yeah. yeah. So, if, as long as Grimmy doesn't have 16 arms, it's fine. <laughs> or has been cycles. Yeah, I, I, you don't see... Yeah, you're right, Grimmy. I had that backwards. You don't see track loops in Tarkles if the person is optimizing for Tarkles. This is optimized for cycles, and I think they just hope that that would lead to a good outcome on Tarkles. Mm -hmm. Cycles, Tarkles would be interesting. Sounds like trackless cycle. Trackless cycles would use as little arcs as possible. But yeah, this one just kind of goes, nah, eh, screw it, these heaps of arms and track, because cycles is fun. Um, actual cycles on this puzzle might not be fun, though, because, uh, I believe... Animismus would, glyph. I believe you actually do need to use the animismus glyph, as well as all the bonding <laughs> shit, which makes you... Right, pipe. I said... Hmm? I said 63 because I did not account for actually building things in animismus, so 63 is not the min. I was wrong. No, nah, yeah, because you get a yeah. bit of spare. You get a bit of spare earth if you're just bonding everything together, and with that spare earth, you can oh, make yeah. animismus. Yeah, you can basically make another robot. Out. Two two animismus procs uh, from spare earth saves two inputs, so 59 becomes the actual min. Yeah, wow, that was quick. Uh, that was quick, mess. Um, yeah, this is also has the 59 in the chat. Oh, but, true. That would help. <laughs> I need to keep I need to keep a somewhat closer eye over my own Twitch chat. It, it, cause I only use one screen because I know. Oh. Because I know previous tournament hosts use multiple screens because it's a good idea. Um. Uh -huh. And I don't do that because I only have one screen. I can't be bothered setting a second one up. Anyway. Um. <laughs> keeping things rolling. In forty fifth place. We dropped down four tarkles. Oh my. To oh, 1,976. Right. It's the 1,900 <laughs> pile up, everyone. <laughs> Seven T Storm. Drops. Still waiting for the drops. <laughs> <laughs> this one takes a very polar opposite approach. Only the two arms. No track, mm. but it takes a while to solve. She's using some cycles. Uh, 7 T-Storm actually writes in the notes, I believe this is more likely to go to area than to Tarkles, but I made an attempt nonetheless. My second attempt shall be strategized beforehand. I'm just showing it because Tarkles is the first metric we're doing here, so that's <laughs> the main reason yeah. I'm showing this now. Yeah, so one thing to note is that when you're taking the product of two numbers, you can make the smaller one smaller and get more bang for your buck than making the big one smaller. Like, the difference this between two that, literally. arms or three arms would have been 988 tarkles at this cycle count. Yeah, rather interesting. The last solve clocked in at 66 cycles. This one clocks in at 988 cycles. Yet they are so similar in tarkle score because of the arm <laughs> count. 
completely missing yeah, yeah. that up. It's interesting that it has like a backlog of those elbows. You can use <laughs> more than the minimum number of glyphs and have a good tarples outcome, actually. This like, is min glyphs. Literally min glyphs. Yeah. I'm thinking, do I have min glyphs? No, I don't. On tarples? <laughs> God, you better not. <laughs> no, I have extra. I have extra bonders. I have a lot of glyphs on turtles. The guesses oh as to why are are appreciated. Calcification everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that's allowed. If I thought no one would tie, but. All right, who's ready for a drop? Um, we drop down to one thousand four hundred and eighty tarkles. Uh, so with, the thousands. with play Mike sucks. Welcome to the tournament. Hey, nice. Oh, he was yeah, saying something about up. wanting to be out of the bottom five. Well, fifth from the bottom. Oh, uh, well, technically bottom is fiftieth. So you actually, oh. by that metric, barely scraped. You made it out of bottom five. Nice. Let's go. I, re I really like this elbow building. It like breaks it and then pushes it on two different pistons onto the multi bonder. This is nice. Mm hmm. And as that triangle track to help handle the fact that the input doesn't have a center. It is a good puzzle for a um, multi-bonder because of the way you have to just de-bond the Vitae Moors and construct the elbows. And if you've got a core next to those elbows, then, well, that's a Caltrops. So, mm -hmm. multi-bonder. Yeah, all these chemistry-looking compounds tend to love their 120 bonds, so lots of health drops. <laughs> yeah. There are actually two different quote-unquote min glyphs, or, yeah, there are two different routes to min glyphs, because one, because you, you can swap out the D-bonder and the VT Moore's input and just use the Earth input and use an Animismus glyph instead of a not. Of a yeah. Not, yeah. So there are yeah. a couple different ways to do min glyphs in this puzzle. If you count the input as a... Mm, yeah. It was worth considering for area because you uh, didn't need to suppress the other input, but at the same time, mm -hmm. like animismus is chunky and annoying. Yeah, yeah so much, it's so much space so, so annoyingly. So it's an interesting. It's also more expensive. It's an interesting question when we get to area. Do you use the animismus glyph? Because um, I... will we see animismus glyph solves? No. Oh. You know what, Bist? I've just had a, I've just had a mind blank. I can't remember. Isn't that weird? You know, <laughs> I'm going to contribute my area main expertise and think probably we will see some animismus solves. Yeah, I appreciate it's that, Biggie. It's probably gonna appear. <laughs> I appreciate that. That that's the kind of level of insight that I just lack. As yeah, but like, not an area most main. people I've seen discussing the puzzle so far be like, what animismus glitch? What disposal glyph? What animismus glyph? This is a bonding debonding puzzle with a weird calcification step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, animismus was viable in area in case um because uh, yeah I, I I got a few people being like figuring that out quite late and um was like wait a sec animismus is viable shit I didn't think about that so. Caliresis is speaking thoughts that very much match my own. <laughs> Like, every time Caliresis is weighed in about this puzzle, I'm like, maybe I'm on the right track, because I'm thinking like them. All right. Yeah, I'll... no, the, the footprint I have for area, animismus, ugh. <laughs> All right, dropping down to 1,446 tackles, we have non-happy. Whoa. How many is the 34 tackles? Nice, more glyphs. And only three arms. That's it. Three pistons. You might have a different layout, Mr. Puzzle. This does have a lot of downtime on arms one and two, because they're the only ones that can reach the inputs, and arm three has to do all the assembling with it, and that's a slower process. It's it's interesting to try to like balance all of the actions that each arm has to take so that it feels like the tape loop is well utilized. It shares that with some. And there is uh, this 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 solve uses a few different ways of putting the elbows onto the core. So I do find that interesting because there is a lot of variety in how you actually go about that, which is why I liked this puzzle for tackles, which is why it was one of the ones I had in mind. 
And you can There's see a lot a of ones here. It's not a single atom, yeah. Hmm. I will say that this just looks like one of the lubricating solvents outputs with like four different growths on it, and that makes it a Tarkle's puzzle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anon Happy writes in the notes, a very good trademark Tarkle solve. <laughs> All right. We're actually due for another drop already. Uh, down to 1,077 oh tarkles is Amuset. Which is just one piston. Huh. Oh, wow. Bro really made the slowest solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has to be the slowest, huh? <laughs> Yeah, because there's no way to get a faster, or there's no way to get a slower solution and have lower tarkles unless you've managed to create half a zero arm solution. <laughs> <laughs> you, an arm is an arm. You can't say it's only a half. Half an arm. Imagine the tarkles tech with half an arm. <laughs> what I could, what I could do with half an arm. Arm, but it can only rotate into three to, in like three directions rotate into three directions it can grab is... but it can't drop that's a half arm <laughs> <laughs> this is similar to uh seven t storms low arm count solution and that it starts out by building and storing some elbows but this one only builds three it has to build the fourth one while it's already connected to the middle so yeah i think while we're here down um in the 40s um it's the bike crystal transceiver right Mm. I am oh, sensing a bit of discomfort with uh, in these last few solves with the, constructing the Big Molecule. Because Big Molecule is, at the end of the day, still pretty scary. Big Molecule is big. Big Molecule big. And that's a lot of bonds. And mm. that's just naturally complicated. So yeah. It's easy to, it's easy to forget that when you're Opus Magnum brained. Mm -hmm. Alchemy brain. I feel like if this person put the output further away from the arm, it could have saved cycles because they do several different re-emotions when they have the full product completed and haven't yet output it. Yes, Yosh, it's big. Size is relative. Um, <laughs> we have EJ. We've had EJS. That's that's really big. <laughs> that's really big. This this counts as big whether you like it or not. Um, yeah. Yeah. And lots and of... Have you seen the campaign puzzles? This is <laughs> this is big in comparison. This is huge. <laughs> this is more. The Adam's campaign puzzles are tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is this is probably as big as Curious Lipstick. That's. It's got two atoms more. It. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway. Um. Uh, I'm use that rights real quick before I move on. Uh, rights in the notes. Awful, smiley face, didn't have time to make another solution if you're reading this, frowny face. Oof. Still, got that coveted 42nd place, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, I remember that, 42. 42. Let's go. I remember the 42nd place rate Yes, last time was the person who went by who. Uh, who <laughs> did who submit this week? Who did submit this week? Let's I go. Didn't. If who comes first, I'm going to... Who's I'll first. be very happy. But so, I don't think I don't think this came through. But in the chat for week one, right before you revealed who is in forty second place, I asked who is in forty second because I thought it would be interesting to know the person to get forty second place, given that there were more than forty two entrants. And then when you revealed that the name was lowercase who, I was dying. <laughs> 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 oh man. Nah, it, that, that, actually, that, that whole who's on first. Because I think the solution was an Abbott Costello... The solution title was an Abbott Costello reference, and I missed it on stream, but... I, I mean, yeah, I one, went of, their, back one and of their I songs was titled Abbott, and the other was titled Costello. Oh, was it? You said I completely missed that. Abbott That's Costello. good. That's good. All right, anyway. Um, we dropped down uh, nine tackles to 1,068. Wow. We have Bun Bun. Nice. Well, I don't think yeah, submitted uh, last week, so welcome. They to said the something. I'm probably next in the chat. Nice pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> bun bun. <laughs> bun bun. 
Yeah, so I don't think Bun Bun submitted last week, so welcome to the tournament. Glad to have you here. Um, opening our account with a Tarkle Solve. So this one builds the two in halves, so the two pistons will just construct the halves separately with their uh, own personal multi-bonder before it's funny joining that them together. It uh, <coughs> splits splits them on the same debonder, but does a 180 on the input for whenever it needs the different type for the other half. Mm -hmm. uh, two of the inputs get a nice spin around. I do like that. Used. Yeah, when you get a halves, there's like more more than one like the halves have imbalanced amount of Vitae's and more is this. Oh, Bun Bun did not even own the game during the last week's puzzle. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. A... Welcome to the welcome to the Opus Magnum community. It's great here. <laughs> uh, there it's are likely lots of Opus people community. who are just now joining because the Reddit's popping off and people are getting thousands of upvotes on posts that have never been seen before. Yeah. Have it's... there been thousands? Or just a thousand plus? Has anybody uh, two, gotten 2,000 upvotes? Yeah, 2,000 upvotes on series is uh, Surrender Flare. I don't know. I don't think this could be any faster shit post. Yeah, it recently, uh. <laughs> we re yeah, recently cracked 2K. So they, <laughs> it's only getting more popular. Oh, man, it's good. It's great for... In it, it's been pretty... I think it's been pretty good for engagement with... Um, it's, yeah. yeah. The subreddit has doubled in size in the last month, and there's a lot more active new people than there were like inactive people who had subscribed and then forgot about it in the six years. So it's like much more than doubled in active participant size. Oh yeah, y'all have been like optimizing for Reddit karma as well. This community Definitely. really does I optimize. <laughs> took a little time out of my a busy schedule to make a flare gun. I saw that was a good <laughs> yeah, I saw that. All right, Thank fun book. All right, Bun Bun writes in the submission notes. Uh, here's my submission for the Tarkles metric. Managed to reduce my Tarkles by over 12,000 from my Discovery Solve, but I know I could do better with a little extra time. I'm pretty sure I can get under 1,000. I'm interested to see what the minimum actually is. It'll go down below 1,000. I can guarantee It'll that It'll go much. down. It will go, It'll go it will, below. It will I'll drop. way below. I'm expecting like 400s. Oh, let me tell you. It goes lower. <laughs> it definitely it it doesn't go down into the two digits. No, that doesn't sound possible, especially since uh even the uh, cycles of building and then who knows how many arms to get there. No, I I I won't say much because I'm sitting on a number that I could see winning, but it goes low. Yeah, it goes low. Alright. So, this was, in fact, our last four-digit Tarkles count. So, oh, we right. dropped down in 40th place at 876 Tarkles. We have 42 Genius 42. Ah. Tarkles. Two off for 42nd place. Nearly got that mm. Nearly got that 42nd place. That would have been pretty dope. But here we are at 40th. Well, Multi-arm to make the elbows is nice. Interesting. Yeah. Genius42 writes, Finally, a three-arm, beating my two-arm on Tarkles. Still seems a large number, 876, but looks good and compact yeah. to me. So I do like arm this. Two is responsible for rotating and pivoting the middle, and arms one and three are giving the elbows. So, I think a pivot... Uh, sorry, uh, a pivot. A piston ended up being a relatively common way to deal with the uh, double atom core thing because you have to end up pivoting both atoms separately. And one way to handle yeah. that, because uh, you didn't have track, is to just have a piston arm. So just a piston, yeah. You will be, the piston arm will be featuring regularly as we go down here. Yeah, it feels like when I think of Tarkles, I think of multi-arms because they can do a lot, but pistons are kind of a necessary evil for this puzzle. Yeah, pistons are like when tracks are turned off and you need a translation, then piston will come in pretty. Yeah, arm three can be a biarm to save uh, cycles, huh? Oh yeah, or a it drop, and then it has to go spin back around. Yeah, as long as it avoids re grabs. Oh, uh, I guess a biarm is definitely triarm. Triarm maybe. Mm, a triarm, I think, regrabs. A biarm, I don't think, would regrab. Oh, yeah, triarm regrabs, yeah. Yeah, I think the biarm would be even better. 
Arm th is arm are both arm one and three limiting? Arm one has a full tape completely. Okay, so it okay, matter. yeah, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, that's understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> um, <laughs> understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> all right. So when it's a cost shave. It's a secondary shave. All right. In thirty ninth place at eight hundred and forty five tackles, we have Kevlan. Oh. Wow. Someone who I usually see up in the top ten. Mm. Mm. Oh, with five arms. So that's... Uh, got it. Five arms, four of them pistons. It seems like these unusual metrics will often cause people who are generally skilled to have really no ability to judge whether they're about to have a good or bad answer, and that can lead to lower yeah. placements. And that can lead to bad answers sometimes, yeah. It's scary. Um, that's kind of, it's inherent to some solves as well, and to a lesser extent TI. But, yeah, with solves like these, with, like, unclear primary spaces, um, you're never sure whether you're actually sitting on a great solve or not. Of course, you can be really confident, like Biggie currently is, but um, you're never 100%. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I'm even not 100%, but I'm just looking at this and thinking, I, I, I don't see there being anything possibly better. So. All right, so I'm going to say this, and I'm going to ask you to not read into it, because the thought would have come into my mind whether I knew the results or not. But your confidence reminds me of my confidence last time we did tackles. Ah. Uh. Because I remember when I, when, I sat on, when I hit that 112, I'm like, holy second. shit. I'm like, holy shit, I do not see it getting better than this. So Yeah, you were in the second place by 11. Most people did. Yeah. I mean, Most I remember your think. confidence on Film Crystal TI, and we were both confident, <laughs> and we made it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, your oh, confidence please. was on a number seven higher than the number that it would need to be to match mine. Okay, <laughs> look, issues. my confidence isn't always yeah. warranted, but... <laughs> But yeah, as you can see in Kevlan's solution title, you can see he was already worried about the um cycle count sitting at 169, but having I five think the arms. The issue was the art count. You can go lower than this with less arms. Mm. I mean, both ways though. You can either go faster or you can get fewer arms. This is period 24. Or it can, do, or it can go faster and lower and less arms. Yeah, exactly. Both simultaneously. Yes. Okay. Dropping down. Um, to Here's an example of that. To 828. Uh, the next solution will come... It's a forearm solve uh, by Zanuck. Three right, mini so He was talking in chat about, like, uh, officially out of the bottom ten. You are... Yes. Out of the bottom ten. Well, good, good shit. You see, the lower arm count immediately paying dividends here. Um, and just kind of focusing on the uh, elbow construction here, which makes the actual putting the whole molecule together look more simple than, I think, mm -hmm. the solves that have come before here did. Yeah, this is a very like straightforward build order that makes people who would probably have done something more complicated look at it and think, oh, I wish I thought of that. Yeah, it's simple, it makes sense, and it's, it's, it's not really slow. Um, the, I, I think the main issue moving forward from here for most of the solves, um, cause you can do, you can do some cool shit, but other than that, if you're sticking to the, this, which I would call method cause a lot of people did it. Um, the elbow scene. yeah, elbows is method. Um, in case you're it's wondering. It's basically how fast can you build the elbows? Yeah. Um, a lot. And, and, and yeah, I think. A question is how can you get the geometry to not waste cycles, and you have to look at and every arms. single last cycle when and, and, you, and to, you also try to go as fast as possible with as little arms as possible. Yeah, right. So we'll see this sort of timing tricks and geometry um, tricks you can use to get past this. Um, Zanuck writes in the solution notes. Unfortunately, my other solutions had two, as in the number two many arms, or four many cycles. So there you go. Yeah. This is a good clean solve. Well done, Zanuck. Yeah. Moving down, we drop eight points 
to 820. <laughs> we have Existentia. Here's the pileups. Um, it's literally just a two cycle difference. This outfit's two cycles quicker. Oh, wow. Hex arm. First big hex arm that I can remember seeing. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it should be faster. But it's doing a lot of things simultaneously. Because that hex arm is slow. Looks very TI. Yeah. It looks like TI, but we don't care about the eye. <laughs> TI, but you can like, you can 6P all you like to save a couple of cycles here and there. Yeah, TI vibes, but no TI metric. Okay, so, I, I, this particular focus with many of these Tarkal solves will go to the elbow construction, because I feel like that part for all of these elbow solves are going, that, that part's very important, because... How quickly you do that pretty much dictates your rate. Um, and this one, you can see a, a big by arm bringing over a couple. Um, kind of deals with the geometry by using a multi bonder again. Pretty sensical, pretty well again, well organized. It's not clear, you know. You look at this, and you're like, how how do you do it faster than this with like not using too many arms? And it's not obvious, so. I think the biome. Could you make that biome a hex arm? You could definitely do more in parallel on the hex arm, but the yeah, but it'll probably just regrab. You like run into the risk of regrabs. Yeah. So like you could you could get down to period four by just a clock or counterclockwise arms one and two with what arm two living in the shadow of that spin. It's messy. Mm, yeah. So you don't have to retract. Yeah, would have been, yeah, okay. That's a fair shout. Alright. We drop down another eight points to Keep them pallets piling up. <laughs> and it, to Winter Ray at eight twelve. Parkley. So I think Winter Ray's focus was on area this week. Um but right in the solution yeah, that's here. Sketched a lot about how to assemble the molecule with uniform salt vitae Moore's shape. I felt the resulting process is pretty efficient, although an extra arm is required to fix the final shape. It's a fairly sad arm. I forgot about piston when building this, but anyway, it's fine, so let it be. <laughs> yeah, this That's an interesting to elbow to use. <laughs> like... This, this to me is the epitome of Tarkle's idea where you want to build the wrong thing and then have it come to become the right thing with a bunch of shit. This isn't really <laughs> elbow, is it? I mean, it's kind of elbow, no. but... It's not... elbow, but it's the wrong elbow. <laughs> it's the wrong fucking... It's a brick. It's I'd call this bricking. This is the other route. Which yeah, I bricking... don't think we'll see as often because it's harder. It just makes the puzzle inherently more difficult to think about. Yeah. But... It has a lot of potential. Bricking goes it down. It has a lot of potential. Bricking goes down, but again, you have to like work harder just to get an okay-ish solve onto the ground. So, also Fiesta calling out how Arm Four is grabbing that Moors and placing it at a different part of it using the Lustrous Syrup tech, where you debond and then you have to reattach on a bonder next to it. Lustrous. Interesting, interesting Lustrous tech shape. L lustrous <laughs> tech spotted. Why? How did that become the name for it? <laughs> this is going to be so confusing for new players. <laughs> Lustrous tech. We could have called it... We could have given it some cool flashy... We could have called given it some cool flashy name, like Hitch Swapping or something, but we called it Lustrous no, tech. No, but Stress Tech. <laughs> what? Inaccessible molecule tech, but you know, you know, communities. They, if it's a long name, they abbreviate it in some way or another. I mean, it gets called wand when you do something else, and that's a name that I, I coined, and people have stuck with. So it it becomes community jargon. Yeah, you know, wand feels a bit different though. 
show. Wanding, Wanding's like what? that's that's no one complains about the name Wanding. It's short, sharp, to the point. Yeah. It's 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 somewhat evocative of what you actually do. So yeah, yeah. it's not confusing. So that's a good name. All right. But yeah, this solves. This is a cool solve. It's um, it's it's low placement is because yeah, it's trying to do a hard thing and then, and then <laughs> on top of that, Winter Raid didn't use pistons, which makes the hard problem even harder. So, I don't really blame this solve for being in the eight hundreds at all. <laughs> it's a really, it's a, it's a very interesting solve actually, because yeah, uh, bricking because it's a big ass molecule and. There is just so much geometry, and it's why that it's why I claim that bricking has potential here because there's so many ideas and so much geometry and so many options. It's hard, but again, it can you can you can do it pretty fast. It's just so hard because. Yeah, I think that's a good thing to point out is that given the duration of a stream, people will see the good solutions that do it and think, oh yeah, that's something that we can get to. But this was. This is something that takes a lot of effort to even get close yeah. to. This one, this one does not look like it's an, it was easy to do at all. Alright. Moving on there. Um, dropping down to 800 tackles. We have Egg Soccer Triple 800 Eight. exact. 800, bang. It's 200 cycles times 4. Salt in the hole. Oh, that one's compact. Oh, I guess cool. anything looks compact compared to the previous solve. Yeah, it does look quite compact. Um, We're in the forearm pilot. Everything so far has been forearms. How do we feel about the winning arm count this year? You all pretty like two or three. Two or three? Yeah. You reckon force? You reckon four's four happening? Is four, is like four's not viable. Four is like, you should be able to get the cycle counts down at four to around where a good three can get it, but just it's harder to find the three. Uh, so heading into this puzzle, one. heading into this puzzle, my internal goal was as long as the winning arm count is greater than two, I'll be happy. Oh, I'm thinking that it's <laughs> either it? three or two. Yeah. Because it's either yeah. I'm also it's... thinking it's three or two. I do not have those numbers. <laughs> but seeing y'all talk about what's possible, I think it's three or two. <laughs> I was my I was back and forth between three and two all week. My first good solve was a two, and my final submission, I'll just say here, was a three. So I'm I'm on team mm -hmm. two or three. Fiesta reckons not two. Okay. Hopeful. I mean, I, I as in that gives me hope. Hopeful. Um. I mean, I know I know the answer. You but know I the know. answer. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen it. <laughs> all right, nightshine. All right, I, I I I have to to a certain extent play along here because otherwise I can just be like, I know the answer, ha ha, and it's a really short, boring stream. Um. Yeah. That's it. Right, so Not Nightshine writes. Entertainment. Yeah, exactly. I do it for the views. Nightshine. Yeah. Yeah. This is Egg Sucker. Oh, this. Oh, whoops. Well, oh, Egg Sucker didn't have any notes. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to move on to Nightshine at 741 tackles. I'm gonna press F10. And it's a one arm <laughs> solve. And it's actually almost. It's kind of area esque. Um. Nightshine writes in the solution notes, Tarkle's variant of similar solve and the one made first. Blows previous area solve out of the water too. Less arms, just better. Right? And as far right. as Tarkle's is concerned, pistons are the cure for what ails ya. And programming done largely in OM clone, highly useful for one arm solves with set tables. Another exponent of OM clone. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a big holdout. I've never touched OM clone or fade it. Reviews it for solution editing, as in like title solution title editing or puzzle title editing, actually. All that, yeah. I actually, use you. I edit quite a lot. 
but not on phone. If it if whatever I'm programming is anywhere under three thousand cycles, then I'll be fine without faded or OM clone. That's like, yeah, that's where I'm at. If it's like I I program shit in the two thousands without any out external tools, because can you use your AHKs on a TXT file? You can do that as well. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you do that. <laughs> Wait. What do you mean? Do you? I'm talking. I'm talking when like, I'm making my own solves. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. When I'm actually like oh, submit just programming in general. Yeah, yeah. No, I meant like yeah. When I'm actually like making like an area or a cost solve, and it's taking ages. It would need to be. So many people are being like, uh, "This is my area layout." <laughs> <laughs> we'll see this because yeah, Nightshine submitted something very similar for layout, but I gotta share this one because it's better for tackles. Um, Pray for Mercy comes up next in 33rd place at 732 tackles. Yash wants to point out that their pair solutions was made in base game, which is not Six so arms. many, period, but so many arms. Oh man, pairs would, yeah. unless you're like, because I know how Jasper did that TI solve for pairs. That's the only one that I could imagine not being painful in game for pairs. <laughs> For those who don't know, but, Paris is I mean, every single two atom uh, yeah. molecule. Pair. So it's like 15 times 15, because there are 15 types of atoms. It's so many different outputs. I this mean, is a very to be fair, if solves with lots of arms tend to not do well with the external editors. Actually, no, the yeah, and that too. Actually, I remember. It Oh, I, I shouldn't go into story mode actually again. Um, six arm solve. <laughs> I have to I have to stop myself now. Um, no, we're very going quick faster, elbow. Sweet. Very quick elbow construction method. It's just the arm count really here on this one. So it's actually kind of nice to see a high arm count again. Um, it's gonna go lower again. Yeah, because it's probably gonna go back probably. down. Um. A lot of specialized arms, and they are pretty busy arms. It's just the nature of Tarkles kind of naturally favors a lower arm count. But 122 is not a bad cycle count. It's a lot better than what we've been seeing. Yeah, this is period 20, which I think makes it the shortest period besides the uh, one by Matrix V that was just cycle optimal. Yeah. Hmm. Two different caltrops here in the output, uh, in the construction here. But yeah, other than that, um, pretty slick elbow construction. It's just, yeah, having each arm be able to grab a single atom is quite convenient when constructing elbows. Because, yeah, you have three mm -hmm. different arms all coming together onto that multibondo. And then a fourth arm kind of sometimes grabs it. So, yeah. Because it actually constructs this basically in halves, putting two elbows together at the same time. Which is a pretty in it's a pretty arm intensive construction route, I'd say. But yeah. Dropping down to thirty second place. We come down into the six hundreds. We are at six hundred and fifty two oh. with Rebix. Okay. Rebix. Okay. Rebix. A deliberate optimized Oh yeah. Just seems like I'm sure yeah, Rebix put most of their effort in area. Oh, it's a two arm solve. This is, uh, oh gosh, the, the grab dodging. That looks so painful. Rebix looks, uh, dare I say it, lost in the source a bit here. Um, <laughs> with, um, yeah, with the solution title seeming to imply as much that I think Rebix was looking for source. I don't think Rebix was okay settling with elbows. I think Rebix... Yeah. It, has, it has the components of socks with the length two hex arm holding earth so that it can build parts of the output directly. It's a very mm -hmm. clever solve. It's just, yeah. It, I, I, like, I can sense that it's doing a bit more pivoting and rotating than it would like. It's doing so much grab dodging. Yeah. There are much easier two-arm construction methods that get you mm -hmm. lower than this. 
but it's hard to uh, hard to find them. Jammu is going. Please stop dropping so fast. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I don't. Know, there were like there were two different tackles puzzles here. There's the one that I think people found easy, which is just elbows, and then there's non elbows, which suddenly makes it a very hard tackles puzzle. I think. Yeah. But it's really yeah. it's. It, I like these non elbow um, solves because it's just they're really interesting because it really is just like. Super complex geography, um, geometry. I said geography. Geography. Literally geography. <laughs> it's fucking geography. Um, yeah, because we slow it down a bit and just appreciate, like, the placements of the bonders and the D-bonders and the grab dodging and the whole, yeah, shuffling to get the molecule into the right place because of the naturally complex way the molecule is shaped because it suddenly feels a lot more complex when you're not putting them together through elbows. Yeah. Yeah, being able to come to terms with the non elbow options and go hard on them was a uh, a late stage Tarkle's idea. <laughs> and people who try to start out there, it's it's a rough one. Bit of a bit of a Tarkle's deep cut. Yeah. Release it's the Tarkle. Reject head. method. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck method. Reject method. Embrace. Do we kill whatever method? Whatever this is. Can we kill <laughs> method this year? Can we? It'd be kill nice to see. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Because if method is dying, then you're gonna have to do something insanely big brained like this. All right. Moving on. Down to six hundred and twenty-eight. It's our Tarkle's main. Oh, yeah, into this. I... oh no. <laughs> Tarkle sounds like a weird like British sweet. <laughs> Would you like a taco, mate? Yeah. <laughs> oh this yeah. We fang oh, us a few tacos, love. Oh. Sorry. I'll stop being British. <laughs> Australians did that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts me a bit when someone yeah. Once I heard you can do uh, the same thing with one arm on the side. Mm. Yeah, it goes way lower. <laughs> so this is because we'll that's be... doing like an elbow every five cycles. Yeah, so I think we'll be seeing a lot of stuff like this, but with less arms <laughs> later yeah. on. Which is why we're seeing this one now and not later. Uh, Bist writes in the solution notes, I started Tarkles by looking for the most efficient method to make the elbow shape. Once I settled I'll on a mechanism, <laughs> which, once I settled on a mechanism, I built my assembly around it with as few arms as possible, and increasing the period by That's as so little not. as I could. <laughs> I think the period's fine. I think the cycle count's fine. It's purely just too many arms, or at least too many if you wanted to make top thirty. I can make left. I'm pretty sure you can make left side with one arm now. From what people have been saying. It's it's geometrically constrained if you do. Yeah. Going down to Nando's for a cheeky tackle. <laughs> <laughs> tackle. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Tarkle's is a British thing now. <laughs> Yeah, Genius, I think, I like Genius's comment. This looks like it should score better than it did. Yeah. I think it's a good way to describe this. Well, my Tarkle's main m missed top 30, so hopefully my backup... You already knew that and then invited me for Tarkle's. I'm just here for fun. <laughs> hopefully my I'm backup does a little better. I'm here for area and I know I'm winning right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually the area main as big as actually the Tarkle's main. <laughs> you fools. I wanted so I out. wanted you to come on thinking you were commentating one metric, only to have you commentate the other metric. Haha. 
Is it going to be so far, like, warped from reality that now I'm going to be considered the Tarkle's main as a dig on me not being an area main as me as a dig on me being a Cycle's main? <laughs> 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 the iceberg of what is Biggie in this game is just going to grow deeper. I mean, Biggie is always just good at metrics that start with a T. <laughs> Biggie, 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 Biggie might be losing her passion for area a bit in the wake of this new Tarkle's discovery. <laughs> The total right. score of bronze 33 is horrifying. It's 33 times a big number. 33 times like 90. Alright. Um, moving on to 30th place, we drop down a whopping 4 points to Cosmic Horror. Different uh, arm count actually. Only 3 arms, but more cycles. No longer breathed in, had mentioned she had thought she was up next, but there's someone in the gap. There is actually three someone arms. in the gap. Yeah. I like this hex arm. That's a way more efficient uh, me uh, method for constructing the elbow. <laughs> Looks a bit like um, what Genius42 is trying to do, but this one has more like TI source to it. And then just the piston handling the actual construction. With what everyone's talking about, it seems there's a pilot. If Lots a of people wait. Huh, oh, I thought I got next. There's a pile up with first digit six, that's wild to me. This piston is really efficient having access to the tribe under. I like this. This is this all is very constrained, very neat. And, 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 and this is kind of what I like about Tarkles, as well as the like inherent uncertainty behind your score but like what i actually like about tackles is that when you're putting these machines together you realize they're actually fun to iterate and that's like like that's mm -hmm. what i like about tackles it's that iteration it's that you can search you can build a machine and actually when you're actually like sifting through machines and building a few different ones you can you can get a few under your belt without too much pain because you don't have to yeah. place too many sh too much shit and you don't have to program too much shit it's not like throughput, where you basically build one solve and be like, yeah, this is what I'm basing it off on now. Right, because uh, I, I you hear that complaint with your area and cost metrics where you know, they take a while to program. These Tarkle solves are really easy to program. All of the trouble behind Tarkles is basically conceptual. In that sense, it's like some and TI, because, yeah... Yeah. You really, you're in the conceptual phase for a lot more of the time, which is something I always like about Opus Magnum metrics. That being said, I am surprisingly okay with cost for some reason. I've never figured that one out, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, in 29th place, um, as um, yeah, no longer breathed in, it's probably expecting her name to pop up, and it does, at 612 Tarkles. Six arm solution. Thou shall flip. <laughs> this was not made. That solution title was not changed in game. Aw, oh, I'm a little disappointed that in game it comes up as lowercase, but it uh, uppercase, but it comes up as lowercase in um on my actual screen. So that's cool. Um, no longer yeah, breathed in. Yeah, we can see it in the overlay. Yeah, the overlay has it lowercase at least. No longer breathed in writes, this solution was slightly edited with Emacs to put lowercase letters in the title. Other than that, it was created entirely <laughs> in-game. I see. Also, the title is instructions to the arms. It finishes by flipping the completed product onto the output. I'm back, mm -hmm. and good lord, what is happening in here? What Six happened? arms. <laughs> Six arms. BD. Alright, reading the rest of the notes real quick. Earlier versions were more flippy due to having the last two pistons opposed instead of coming from the same direction. They started at 11 by 106, that is arm count times cycle count, then 9 by 106, then 9 by 102, then 8 by 102, then I spotted an idea today. Um, well, when was this submitted? I couldn't tell you straight away, but I spotted an idea that got it down to seven by 102, and finally six by 102. So this actually used to be an, a, a lot higher of an arm count, but the arm count actually came down. 
It does seem like she committed pretty early to the speed that it's going to be pulling yeah. once per every four on mm. the Earth, and then mostly that on the Animismus ones, except for you also take an extra. But yeah, that's kind of, yeah, part of the essence of Tarkles is that it, there's a strong emphasis on low arm counts. So yeah. Because you can get a lot of shit done with like two or three arms. You can get a surprising amount of shit done with two or three arms. Hell, you yeah. can do a surprising amount. If I turn tracks on, you can do a surprising amount of shit with one arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I still, I remember I when we did comms. Um, the <laughs> was a great solve, to be fair. The quintessential catalysts. <laughs> the one arm wonder. The one arm wonder. It was a, it was a solve with one arm that won, and it was just this hex arm, a giant hex arm and a bunch of track, which did like all this crazy initialization before getting into this really cool steady state. That I, I I've never seen any other solve like it, but it's really yeah, cool we should, solve. We should try more cards. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. basically like three to di four different directions on the hex arm were doing the same weird manipulation but when you did it at the four different points it was making outputs it was making out all the edits. it was like one every six or eight cycles was it's like yeah, it pseudo rate massive throughput once it did all of its in it and the track helped with the init yeah i think bambi made it if i remember correctly and like at the time, I was freaking out. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, a one arm solve one. But, like, I was, I, it was That's lucky. What, the one arm solve was cool. <laughs> it's like this. I want to see more of that shit. It's like, one arm solve, this better be the best damn one arm solve ever. And then it's like, you got lucky. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we started exploring this metric called one arm cycles, and it was pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that inspired that. Maybe we should go back. Maybe we should just straight up do one arm cycles during a weekly. I posted the Imger link in the um, in the Twitch chat and in the Discord for nice. the uh, Bambi winning solve. Nice, good find. All right, moving on. We leave the six hundreds. We're down to the five hundreds. At five hundred and eighty, we have small crepe. Nice, pointy crepe. Rat cycles. Rat cycles. Four arms at 145. Yeah, I guess if you're four arms under 600, then you have fewer than 150 cycles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how math works. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I guess the point being that four arms, you need to make it pretty fast to justify getting four arms solved to this placement. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty slick elbow construction here. Again, you're getting three different arms handling the, yeah, you know, or handling the individual parts of the elbow, and then a fourth one, um, with the rest of the molecule. But there aren't any other arms, so there's at least that. A jamu of me. Uh, oh. I believe so. They're yeah. They thought I had a 600 target solve. Yeah, yeah, jamu submitted. Congrats on They're beating the number you were having in your head. They said they had a 300, 600 Tarkle soft, huh? <laughs> no, you you beat it. You beat your own... You, know, you you got under 600. I can I can confirm that. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine not knowing your score. <laughs> I like Piston 1 that does that giant swing back and forth to dodge a swing. This is some cool oh <laughs> geometry to get everything to keep coming together right. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the piston actually has direct access to that, um, to the Vitae Mills input, which is pretty cool, actually. That's some nice geometry. So yeah, the elbow, yeah, this all, the elbows get constructed pretty fast here, so it's less slowing down a bit. Oh wow, that slowing down is nice because I got to see that the earth output that's grabbed fourth has the input has the out product swing over it that would crash if the earth input wasn't being pulled on that cycle. Right, yeah, it's a minor input suppression even. I should, yeah, I might moving forward use the slowdown feature uh, more when we do these tackles because they they will get pretty fast. Um, yeah, the fast solves will need it. There's so much yeah. going on in these. Oh yeah, um, in twenty seventh place. It, it is, in fact, Jammu, um, who got down to 568 tackles. <laughs> I 
Oh, right. I remember seeing the title Tickles Your Atoms Uwu posted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it... Parkles um, Atoms. Ja Jamie writes in the notes, Yes, Zorflax, you better read the title. So, um... Tickles Your Atoms Uwu? Uwu. <laughs> <laughs> this is very much like Bist's build order, except better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that. I do think, though, you could pretty freely 6p it to save all those gap cycles, because that piston doesn't have to wait until the gap on the first one, at least. So, good example here of Hexarm solving geometry problems a bit here. Um, and we saw this, saw this a lot last week, actually, with Blue Vitriol, but... Having the hex arm do a few extra rotations to just bring whatever it's grabbing around so that it can do shit like this where both the hex arm and piston have easy access to that VT Moore's input. Um, and a, a, a very similar elbow construction method to the last solve. We're again seeing like one arm individually grab the Moore's, the VT and the earth and then the piston handling the actual construction. So it's the same like that, but with a I think it beat the last solve on just having a bit of a better throughput. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Period 21, and Small Crepe, I think, was... I couldn't remember the exact period, but... Yeah, at this point, you're trying to consider the period of the machine when I'm looking at cycle count. And mm. uh, yeah. if you don't know, you can, you can look at the little indicators above the instruction tray. There's a little divot every four, and so you can count quickly to see how long uh, an instruction tape mm -hmm. is as multiples of four. Yeah. All right. I'm going to keep it going. And 26th place at 554 tackles. We have Mr. Puzzle. Oh. Screaming into the finish line. It's a two arm solve. It's a two arm solve. This does not look and like. And it's not an elbow solve. That's not it. It's not even close to elbow. This is, this is a fucky solve. What is this? <laughs> oh, what is that? Okay. That's actually really cool. It has like, it drops off two two atom pieces as like a wand thing, and then picks them back up in the correct the correct side. This is a really pretty order. I think just not fast enough yeah. for its arm count. It's better than Revix two arm solve. Look at this. Sure, it's a wacky though. Look at this tuning fork ass intermediary. <laughs> you have weird tuning forks then. <laughs> it also goes through the input. Oh, it does. It just goes right through the input. <laughs> yeah, as if it's just not even there. <laughs> this is a case of a uh, smart person tries to be smart at a problem. It, it leads to really boss, cool okay. stuff. Oh, yeah, that it just... Cool, as fuck, though. Right. That's is obviously cool. more important. <laughs> It's 6P and doesn't reset. Bonderfield go burr. Gosh. God, that's just such a minefield of bonders. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. when, when I was just saying. Like, out there for some reason. Somebody was describing their solve as min glyphs, and I'm like, oh, mine's nowhere near min glyphs. It's because of shit like this. This is too powerful when done in a specific <laughs> way. Yeah. You just. Just. Have... <laughs> You just build the shape and then you deal with the bonds. You build the wrong shape and then you luster syrup it into the right shape while dealing with the bonds. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm excited to see what comes up then. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, yeah, Mr. Puzzle writes, uh, there was a four-point shave with two minutes to spare. Did it matter? Sadly, it didn't. Um, uh -huh. The next solve. That's two cycles, I assume. The next solve, yeah. Uh, the next solve was four points away. Sorry, eight points away. I can count. Uh, down to 546. <laughs> we have Grimmy. Welcome to the tournament, Grimmy. Hey. Oh, hi, Grimmy. We got a Grimmy solve. We got, <laughs> we got a Grimmy. We have lots of arms. Disposal used. Six arms. <laughs> nice. A very fast six arm solve. Oh, right, yeah, because arm one is taking well, every three except for any, but any six arms also go any faster. Right, this looks like... 
uh, throw more arms at it at period three for elbows. And that's a cool design, but arms are numerous. Um, so I, I will reveal Very now. This was, this was, this was the fastest, this was the best six arm solve submitted. So, uh, okay. okay. We, we barely so was correct in their prediction. This is, this is the best six arm solve. Disposal glyph, yeah. That's purely. It's kind of like the disposal glyph in RG. Yeah, so it's I'm... for it's initialization for purposes. Yeah, so it's just it's just it's for initialization. Exact same reason it was it would have been used for blue vitriol last week. Yeah. Mara says this solution is very similar to hers. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's five arms. <laughs> so I like the combination of different length hex arms here. There's a one length hex arm, a two length hex arm, and a three length hex arm, allowing you to explore kind of yeah different geometries. You have um. So I think yeah I don't think um yeah arm three has to be a three length yeah and I, I like yeah just the interplay between arm one and arm two with arm three slotting in the middle here um with its own swing from a very particular direction so it doesn't crash into anything else It'd be a very quick once it gets going it's um if i'm not mistaken it's grabbing every three it has one uh gap of four so that arm four can actually take the other input because you can't with every three all right so I'll, yeah grab it. okay so not it's an almost every three i guess because of yeah because the number of earth atoms doesn't quite align with the number of animismus atoms the arm that all it does is can't grab the core it looks painful though it only has to take the long way because of the disposal i think Oh no, because it would also be grabbed then. Yeah. It would, like, immediately fall into the grabber, which has to avoid. Mm. Alright. Moving on. And... That feels like an unfortunate arm to be there. Which one? Which one? Oh, just, uh, the, the arm that grabs the input for the core. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I think, yeah. I... We can agree on I that. can't see him. My stream is broken. Our arms that only do one thing are hard to stomach in this. In but don't worry, definitely. all of my arms do many things. <laughs> Alright, yeah. in 24th place, um, dropping down to 525 tackles, it's Guilty Bystander. I can zoom back in for this one. Schmull. Nearly Min Glyphs. Min glyphs that, plus one bonder. That is some syrup on arm one. It's a lustrous syrup. <laughs> it is syruping. Lustrous syrup detected. Oh, Guilty asks if you could swap the hex arm for a tri arm just so it looks cooler. Because the hex I, I will do that. Hex. I can do that. Absolutely. It would be my pleasure. Well, the, you, you can't Wait. just remove it. Wait. This is already programming. <laughs> Well, oh shit! <laughs> you removed the program. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was dumb. <laughs> Oops! Now it works. <laughs> it reuses the bonder to make both sides of the elbow because of the lustrous tech. That's very neat. Be a lustrous detected. Um, that is one way to get an elbow going. You um, because it actually is quite useful because you you're bonding the earth atom first, right? Uh, onto the vitae, and by lustrousing, you get a pretty convenient bond day bond, and suddenly you have an elbow. It's very reminiscent to the lustrous tep example that I showed last week, which I deleted from my computer right before the stream started because I didn't think we'd need it. Oops. Um, and yeah, that's a pretty, it's a pretty slick elbow. It's two, it's a two arm elbow construction method and you have the third arm and 
A lot of people talking about how good three arms is as a number for your arm count for tackles, so... Yeah, yeah pff, quite nice, if you ask me. Insanely it low glyph like usage, number. too. My internet is dying again. Let's hope mine doesn't, because... I... I, so I was gonna straighten. I was gonna do this at a friend's house to guarantee no dropouts. But then he had oh, to. Oh, did you own that at your friend's house now? No, I, he had to bail last minute. He had, we had to cancel last um, minute because we fi re we figured out because I can't. Um, I need to use an Ethernet cable, um, and the Ethernet cable mm -hmm. runs across my friend's kitchen, and his mum is currently wearing a moon boot, so it would be a hazard, a tripping hazard. So we couldn't do it. And I needed the mm -hmm. Ethernet cable, so I'm like, ah, shit, alright. Guess we're gonna risk it. What's anyway. a moon boot? Anyway, that had nothing to do with the solve whatsoever. <laughs> um, a moon boot is like, <laughs> injured ankle, basically. Anyway, that has nothing to do uh, with the okay. solve. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah, economical solve. Um, I guess... See, to, to, to ask the question, where do you improve from here? We do have to start looking a little bit more closely at the cycle count. This comes in at 175. And obviously, unless you're using two yeah. arms, it gets quicker than this. Um, we're approaching the three, or approaching the two or three arm territory. And ironically, up next is a four arm solve. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This thing's gotta be speedy then. <laughs> Alright, um, at 516 tackles is Mad Master 5000. Are we tackling? We are tackling. I like that this one is doing uh, 6p, it's, it's fast enough too. I'll slow down. Have a bit of a focus on the elbows here because that arm three just swings right through without pause, which does make it look quite fast. Some nice geometry here. Um, arm one's hex arm brings the VT moles around a few rotations before arm two comes in, slots it right onto that multi bonder, which we've been, which has been pretty ubiquitous up to this point. It's just, it's just so good for this puzzle. Especially, yeah. Hello, Chump Change Boy. You made this. It make... <laughs> it's an elbow. Try partners make elbows. And That's it is what in... they do. And it is, in fact, arm three that outputs, interestingly. Because the piston does still handle the whole pivoting, translating, construction thing that you need to do with the core. But mm -hmm. arm three just, like, yeah, swings right through to output, which is pretty cool. Because it uses those spare cycles. Because it would need to wait around anyway for, like, arm four to initialize and all that stuff so there you go uh it reads in the solution notes poorly implemented method no area solve from me this week good luck everyone uh i think this is 116 area that's a fine solve no one can get lower <laughs> nope -uh. i don't know we've never, we haven't even seen solves that gone lower right <laughs> mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right Moving on. I'm sure we have. <laughs> oh god, we're oh man. I my, the goal was for uh, my goal is to keep the stream under four hours. It if I speed up now, it'll be pretty tight because yeah. Gas, gas, gas. Gas, gas. gas. All right, <laughs> let's go. At five hundred, at five hundred and four tackles, we have for you. For you. The okay. wheel perfected. Oh, oh, that's a sick wheel. Ooh. Oh, that's some sick assembly of elbows. That's a nice elbow. Some pretty slick input suppression happening. The VT just goes through the earth input, swings right <laughs> as arm one swings back through. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy seeing some of the ways that people made elbows out of this, because I had my one elbow solve and then I tried to get into the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was quite pleased, because, like, 
Yeah, the actual way you put the elbow together. There are many different ways to put this elbow together. There are just so many different geometries you play around with, with debonding one thing and bonding another thing together. And the way that the interplay between having to do that and you're like usually multi arms, kind of swinging around trying to cut the latency down, trying to cut the period down as much as possible, was pretty interesting. Unfortunately, two pistons were needed. Otherwise, this would have been a very good placement. Because it's still a pretty good placement, even now. But, uh -huh. yeah, damn. Because, yeah. Three it, arms, 120 is looking at like 360 tarples. That's a, a very low number. That's a, that, that, that's incredibly low. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it seems like it would be better if you just had better geometry and arm three wasn't needed. Arm 3 is the unfortunate looking one here. All it does is pass the input over. It does a bit of pivoting, but yeah, it's still essentially yeah. just passing the input over. It feels like you can like just have three arms do almost the same thing as this does, but you know, be three arms. Alright. Steaming onwards. Uh, a playtest solve. Submitted by Haxton. Damn, Haxton in 21st. Our previous, uh, the actual Tarko's main. <laughs> so... At one point, someone had said, like, Haxton wants to report that his tar Tarko's playtest solve was beaten. This is that solve? Oh yeah, Tarko said that himself. So this was actually, um... So this was originally sitting at 620 before Shadow Cluster touched it up, actually. Ah. Uh... That's an interesting elbow method, for sure. It's building it. It's like double. Like it's life like sensing a, potions. Yeah, that is almost yeah. an endless pay. It's it's like yeah, a, it's a life sensing potions has more salts. <laughs> it's like a it's like elbow bricking essentially because you put two elbows together um, just to get one rotation pivot around and then you debond them over again. And and yeah, it also breaks. Fun of me. Yeah, that was... <laughs> it also breaks the uh, core onto the last elbow, right yeah, in it's... time for arm three to like. It's just kind of left stranded for arm three, and arm three can be like, oh sweet, thanks. That's my core. So that was that geometry problem solved. Yeah, preventing you from needing that that core to make it all the way over there with an arm that delivers it. So this ends up being quite unusual in that it kind of exists between the elbow method and the source. Very cool. Very dense cluster of glyphs too. <laughs> Mr. Tarkles said that himself. <laughs> I want to say my excuse is that English is my second language, but I've been speaking it for like two decades at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Critelli in this one. Quality Critelli. Oh yeah, good Critelli. The law was actually pretty dark this week. I think people were like, oh. I kind of went Damn, there. Critelli is a drug lord. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 Who's it Critelli? It brightens up. I needed Critelli to have a bit of a low point. So, it, it brightens who, up from here. I'm who's actually... Cortelli? What about who's Cortelli? Who has it showed up? <laughs> it felt like angst more than dark to me, but I don't know. Yeah. No, nah, it was it was it was angst. It's very angsty, but um Cortelli, yeah. Oh yeah, goodbye galaxy. It's the this is law. Um is it is the Cortelli backstory. Yeah, Maximus Cortelli. And there's also the Cortelli man, uh, the, the, you know, the glyph guy. The Cortelli glyph guy. Mm. It's a glyph, you can't change my mind. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> providing this information to give the galaxy himself. Like, okay. <laughs> Onwards! Alright. How about we spend the next 15 minutes explaining exactly what happens specifically to Goodbye Galaxy instead of moving on to the next hole? <laughs> I kid. Um, in 21st place, we drop down four points 
485. Yeah. We just kind of low key hit the 400s, by the way, with Nucha. That's a five arm yeah, solve. That's the only divisor. Five arm solve. I play div. I know what primes divide what numbers. 485 is only attainable <laughs> with five arms. <laughs> How many cycles did Grimmy have? Uh, Grimmy had 91. 91. This is almost as fast as Grimmy's. Only six cycles, yeah. slow, but with one less arm. Yeah, with one less arm. This couldn't have Mara been a 97 same. This arm solve. Herself, too. I think Mara has lots of arms in her solve. I wonder what's tipping that off. It could have been a 97 arm solve. <laughs> ah, yes, no, too. because cycle theory, but it could be a one arm solve. You're right. <laughs> It's cool how fast this is making the spins. It does have a lot of things in common with Grimmy's solution that was running so much yeah. of the elbow building at period three. It also has a bit of stuff in common with Bist's solve, but instead of less yeah, arms, the double hex it's, arms, it's even, it's just it's even more faster. Arms. Yeah, it's, it's even more arms and also just a lot faster. Uh-huh. You know, you're just better. <laughs> Y'all beat the Tarkos main. <laughs> <laughs> this, this seems like uh, what Grimmy Solve wanted to be without that arm to pull the cores around. Yeah, basically. Uh, I can also confirm that this is the best five arm solve. Right. So we did well, not get a really fast four arm from Maraconda then. <laughs> we did not get a five arm solve in the top twenty. Which is all sad because we're at 21st, but yeah, mm. this is as low as five arms went. So from here, maximum four arms. Well, it could also be seven arms. <laughs> oh, unless the seven, yeah, you seven arms. That out. Seven arms, 59 cycles would be 413, so we still could. There's, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'm saying that there is a chance. <laughs> We're not below many cycles for seven arms. Have yet. we seen the fastest one arm solve? Uh, good question. I think we have. Oh, let me let me find it. Which one was it? And it was pretty okay. The fastest one arm solve was Nightshine back so in Nightshine. thirty. Yeah. Nightshine back in thirty fourth place. That was the fastest one arm solve submitted. Mm -hmm. I reckon it might go lower than that, but that solution space just isn't explored. Um, okay. In 20th place, we, we are in top 20. Let's go. At 476 tarkles, we have Ebonoff. Top 20 is the new top 10. Top 20 is the new top 10. Four, still, four arms. We're at four arms. You squimped hard enough. <laughs> if you squimped hard enough. <laughs> okay, this is some, this is some bricking. Goodness, though, the pistons handling that input. Yeah, that arm three. <laughs> the, the solution title is clearly referencing the fact that this uh, is building the wrong thing and then making it correct, which is the, the other type, the non-elbows solve. This is yeah, the, uh, the surgery with the, the glyphs, all the yeah. glyphs. Referring to the brick method as surgery is probably the healthiest decision here. Let's... <laughs> Let's acknowledge the the uh, the sauce of surgery. Okay, so I'm checking back on the submissions, and we have already seen the best two arm solve. Oh, really? It was I had a much better two arm solve. It was all right. So all right, so it's not true. There were non scoring the ones that were better. The, the, yeah, there were non scoring ones that were better that we wouldn't. Yeah, I, actually, actually, Biggie's was the best non scoring two arm solve. It was my one told, titled hmm. Yeah, uh, but the best cool, scoring yeah. one was submitted by Mr. Puzzle way back at 26th place. Wow, okay. So, yeah. Everybody got three arms in the higher placements. Well, you got what you wished for. <laughs> yeah, my, my solve called hmm wouldn't have come up yet. It was 442. Yeah. Uh, for saying numbers. I'm happy to not... Sh well, yeah, we won't show that until we get to your actual placement, though. Just for... Cool. Yeah. That'll be easy. It'll be after everything's been revealed. Haha. <laughs> Ah, ha, ha. ah, will it? Ha, ha. <laughs> Watch it drop to like 200 or so. All right, next up. 
Actually, no, I won't say next stop because there are notes here that I haven't read. Um, Ebenov writes, You'll see that a part of method is about achieving knight translation by doing, doing two rotations centered a knight away from each other, which, one, which, which you can see used here. Getting those five nerve blocks into place is harder to execute than to plan. Someone uh, read the lore. <laughs> yes, that, the input was a nerve block. That is, that is the actual input. Um, I've been calling it Vitae Moors this whole time, but it is the nerve block input. Um, mm -hmm. Tarkle number balloons up as you avoid collisions, bad bond timings, unwanted suppressions, failed suppressions, and those damn pistons just not being just being not there. This gap mm -hmm. between execution and planning doesn't get smaller after executing one. I'm not sure if I'm reading that right. I realized a pivot to fix access in post-processing, so West Wing Nerve Block can be bonded on Moors and not require the post-processing detour. And thought on paper, surely 3ARM 25R is a lower bar than this, and then it just got to 27R and counting. So I think Ebenov was entirely happy with this solve, in other words. With all the... It's top 20. It's a new top 10. Top 20 is a new top 10. So he scraped it in well enough. But yeah, a lot of, um, yeah, the difficulties inherent to this puzzle tackles kind of like rearing its ugly head here with the necessity for pistons and the geometry oh. problems and uh, how the hell do I get the elbow quicker? I think that and uh, the surgery. Ebenov and basically everyone who attempted surgery and got only about this far will be happy by the end of the stream to see what could be done. See how low, yeah, surgery gets. But yeah, this is another... Oh boy. Yeah. As I said, the, these surgery solves are all so cool. So I, I, I do like the people... Like this would probably score well. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, jumping down five points to 400. The new method is, uh, surgery. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, we're a trans-positive community. Surgery shouldn't be the scariest thing in the world. Perfect. Hey, empty stream. <laughs> mm. Anyway, 19th place, Feindir, with... No, it's not Braille all the way to the right. <laughs> oh, it is Braille. Yeah, right. <laughs> After, like, a giant block of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Was that intended? What does the Braille mean? Surely a surgery solve makes sense for local anesthetic. It would make perfect sense for a, uh -huh, puzzle, yeah. <laughs> for a puzzle titled local anesthetic. You would hope surgery would be the way to go. It's Maybe that was the point. Ha ha ha. Anyway, a uh, bit of lust. Lustrous. Uh, lustrous. This, uh, lustrous this, could, this could lose a couple of cycles if it uh, handled the sixth product differently because it's retracting the piston just so that it's in a better position after it outputs. Oof. Oh yeah, I was talking about how they did it. Search for six P. Yeah, this, this could be improved to six P. That would have saved minus six cycles. Six cycles. Yeah. yeah, two cycles, three arms. A single um, cycle. Oh yeah, two, two cycles, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would have mattered. Oh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> anyway, um, coming up in eighteenth place at four hundred and sixty-eight tackles. At, <laughs> at 170 cost. Oh no. Oh. Cost mentioned. You could pass Who? multiple people. Who? 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 Oh, and look at that. Look how similar it is to Feindir's soul. That's Feindir's soul. Is that piston ever pistoning? Oh, yeah, it is. It helps provide inputs. That is, it is the exact same elbow construction as. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Goodbye Galaxy was asking who's Cretelli earlier. Who's Cretelli does not exist. I don't. Oh no, it's in the top right. <laughs> Cretelli is ignored. Who's Cretelli is in the top right. Underneath <laughs> your that, username, this. There's, there's who's Cretelli. <laughs> anyway, very yeah. Extremely similar to Feindir's. Uh, this it's... one had solution notes. The solution notes read, 
There once was a girl named Particles. There once was a boy named Charcoals. Cold feet, arms meet, tarkles. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> nice. Poetry. <laughs> Alright. Elm's orange is the fact that it's referencing the poem. What rhymes with tarkles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. In 17th place at 468 tarkles at 150 cost. It is random name 7190. Actually good tarkles this time. It is. Top 20. Let's go. This one, all right, same arm cycle count, but it is a different method. This one is a mm -hmm. lot more reminiscent of... Um, Who use method? Who use method, that's it. I can't think, I can't hear Fuyu and not think of like the Uncle Roger thing. <laughs> Fuyu. Fuyu. <laughs> Interesting, like when I hear Fuyu, I think of Charlie the Unicorn Fugu Fish, and that's not it. <laughs> It sounds Japanese. Yeah. Especially pronounce it Fuyu instead of Fuyu. There's barely a difference between what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't. I could hardly hear it. Um, There's right. a difference in lip shape. That's it. <laughs> Random name writes in the solution notes. I don't want to talk about how close I was to submitting a cycle optimized single arm solve. I don't know how to tackle. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's tempting. If I allowed track, it would have been extremely tempting. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, alright, I allowed track, but I nerfed it, so... Yeah. Tracks have been nerfed. Tracks OP. Please nerf. <laughs> multi-arms OP, actually. Yeah. Well, multi-arms or pistons are the best thing to get after uh, track. Yeah, you just want the most expensive arms, pistons and multi-arms. You you can afford to pay a little extra for the premium arms since yeah. cost is only secondary. They, cost, they still cost one arm. And it's not yeah. like cost mattered just then or anything. To answer the question in chat, how charcoals could be saved from finding deer solve, there was a... a re the arm that output the output would let go, retract by two, and then grab it and rotate it again. But if it just held it at that max length and rotated it, that would mean that it outputs sooner. The problem being that it then would take longer to get back to its starting position. So if you special case the last output, it's two cycles faster, which just means outputting after the entire instruction tape is filled. Oh wait, maybe it 16. only saved one. Maybe it would have only saved one cycle because it has to wait anyway for the final elbow, right? The final elbow maybe it would be have pivoted. Oh it's yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't need to be pivoted, so it would have saved two you, cycles. Yeah. yeah, you miss the pivot and you have that retract on the different timing, then it's it's so much faster. It's two cycles. Yeah, it's the idea here. I'll zoom in a bit and just explain it in detail here. Is that arm three here is letting go of the vitae here. Um, because it wants to wait. No, wait. Wrong, wrong, Not wrong part. Point, wrong part. All right. So at this point, arm three will let go of the moors to retract and regrab that pit, that vitae. And the reason it does that is because it makes for a better reset for the next product. But if there is no next product, then you don't need to reset. So there's no point doing that. And in fact, it doesn't save cycles. It costs cycles when it comes to the very last one that's outputted. So what you would do to save the cycles here is to program out the solution tape another five times and then change the... Use copy-paste. It's not that hard, actually. Yeah, but, we'll just um, change the copy-paste. Yeah, use copy-paste all this shit five times. And, and it's then not it, that long of a tape anyways. Nah, it's, it'd be pretty easy to copy-paste, actually. And, and at the very end, you change it so that ARM3 doesn't bother letting go of the moors and arm one is doing like a pivot here that it doesn't need to do the pivot at the very end. So you have arm one swing through sooner and arm three can just output two cycles earlier, saving you six tackles. So yeah, sorry, just wanted to go in depth. Give a beginner friendly explanation to that one. Cause yeah, that's what we would, when we say you can six P to save cycles, that's what we basically mean. It means like copy paste your instruction tape five more times and you can change the ending a bit because 
Yeah, cycle count only cares about the f- six products. They don't care oh, you about what also, comes after. You should let people yeah, know right. the easy way to do it. Highlight the whole instruction tray, hold control, mouse, click, drag, and you'll have a second copy of everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so also, wait. we could probably explain what P actually means. It means the products you make per tape loop. Okay, so it, all right, so it looks weird because I'm using Zoom tools, so you don't actually, you can't actually see me selecting stuff, but what I'm doing here is dragging the mouse across. Hold control, and um, I'm dragging all Rather. the instruction types, and you can see. So you can do Rather it like this. Shift scroll. And you can, you can shift scroll, do it again. Let go of shift to re grab it, shift scroll, let go of shift, re grab it, shift scroll. And you can just copy paste over and over again. I think again. you messed up. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Nah. And then, it's uh, so hard to tell because of the Zoom tools you have. Yeah, because yeah. Zoom jank. Yeah, Zoom jank kind of makes this not visually clear at all, unfortunately. But that's what you do to copy paste that shit. But yeah, for Bun Bun's sake, yeah. Uh, just control click on anything will make a second copy of it, including parts and instructions. But yeah. Copy pasting is not a mod feature. It's just country. It's in the base game, but they never tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's worth playing around with that kind of like instruction manipulation stuff because it it really makes programming shit less annoying. Because mm-hmm. yeah, that's one of the things about this Magnum. Because when you're dealing with long instruction tapes, it can be a bit annoying to program, but there are tricks to make it less annoying. Okay, moving on. Um, so if Feindir had found that, he would have placed 17th instead of 19th. Cause yeah, Feindir says they tried it out in game and it did like matter. Of- by six tacos. Yeah. Okay, so in 16th place, however, dropping down to 459, we have Fiesta 618. Mm, Fiesta. Odd metrics taking names. This is the right one, right? Yeah. Mm, this looks familiar. This is the Genius 42 solve. But it is. With a... Uh... It's just, yeah, it's Genius 42 solve, but basically just cleaner, I think. Okay, so there's a few notes here, um, so I'll get cracking. Fiesta writes, When I first encountered Tarkles as a metric back in 2022, I had no idea what I was doing. Since I've not (laughs) seen it even once between then and now, I still can't say I have much experience to draw on but I have significantly leveled up my general competence as a solver, so I did manage to formulate a plan of attack. Here's what I was thinking. Sum and TI are two other metrics that generally reward low arm counts. And one concept that recurs often in those spaces is identifying repetition within the products so that you can reuse machinery. It wasn't super obvious to me in the first daunting impression, but this bulky product contains quite a lot of repetition. It is the same three atom elbow bonded four times around the nerve block input. Once I noticed that, I figured I would try to make those elbows as efficiently as possible and proceed from there. It seems to me that the best number of arms for making that elbow would probably be two. The central challenge is getting the Morzen Vitae separated by a knight's move and accomplishing that requires either two mechanisms or a lot of re-grabs and shuffling. The hex arm here does most of the work, assisted by a simple arm moving moors from debonder to bonder. The other critical concept I did not originally understand when working on that old Tarkles puzzle was using multi-arms to perform multiple tasks and or minimize reset cycles. That manifested here by upgrading arm 2 to a tri-arm, that allows the machine to move finished elbows out of the hex arms workspace without needing multiple costly reset instructions. Additionally, this upgrade also allowed arm two to be the output arm, which saved a modest amount of otherwise empty tape. Taken together, we have the solve you see here. Hex arm one bonding two thirds of the elbow atoms and setting up the necessary knight's move. Try arm two, finishing each elbow and swinging them clear to the product assembly station. Piston arm three on a much slower cadence, pulling the core nerve block and manipulating it so that all the elbow bonds line up properly. I quite like this solve. 
It has a grand total of three empty spaces in the tape and very few unnecessary oh, yeah. movements. I can imagine there might be solves that create elbows more quickly and thus do better on the metric even though they have more arms. But this is plenty good enough for me. That was a really good breakdown of the solve. I don't think I'm going <laughs> to be able to add to that at all. I think that's... Yeah, that broke it down probably better than I was going to. Mm -hmm. Notes are wonderful things. Thank you, Panic, for yeah. note-taking to the site. Absolutely. If you're if Those of you watching, add notes. I love reading them. They're really is helpful. There, is there a character limit on the pronouns, by the way? I couldn't actually tell you that. Um, I'm not Next aware. time let's write notes in the pronouns. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god, that would be terrible. <laughs> That'd be awful. But no, if you're reading this... The, uh, the fact of the matter is you on the NHK. <laughs> sorry anyway, the fact of the matter is you the solver know your solution better than I do uh, I'll, I'll study it yeah. best I can but you you you're the one that made it you are intimate with how it works so any insight you give through the notes is valuable I do like it it helps with analysis and yeah write notes if you can coming up next at 456 tackles. Ooh, three off. At 200 gold. Ooh. Is Nova. All right. Nova's continuing to submit. You love she to got see it. Four arms. Four arms. Oh, wow. The way that it gets the core oh. into it. The core is delivered by like a sneaky addition from arm one. <laughs> that looked like something that um, the playtest solved did, actually. Oh, there's a <laughs> there's a bad six p. Six p to save cycles. Nova writes in the solution notes. I'm very sad that this thing scores better than any clean or elegant solution I tried. Probably means it can get way lower than this. Looking forward to seeing I mean, it. this looks clean and elegant. Compared to the surgery solves. Surgery is like... Like, like, elbows are the iceberg bit that's on top of the... That's above water level. And... And, and, and bricking surgery is like below sea level. That's, that's the shit that you don't see in the ice. That's like most of the iceberg. <laughs> Freaking surgery is like, people don't actually come up with this, do they? You find it on the leaderboard. Nah. <laughs> it's 6p. 6p to save cycles. Oh, there is a max pronoun length. Okay. Oh, what is it? 48. 48. Uh, then you have to make your notes of 48 characters, people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which push writing you had to solve with this exact talk with this exact count? Oh, okay. It's not in my approved upon it. Not in my submission list, actually. I, I I thought it was there, but there were actually quite a few 459s submitted from which push that. Yeah, none of them are. This. Yeah, which push probably didn't. Sub oh, or maybe they made the last song. But. We're in a bit of a... We have a primary tie, so we'll move on. At Yo. 456 tackles, at 160 cost, is not great. So this is, there is... there is This is a this is quite a pileup, actually. Um, around here in the mid-400s. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe it goes much lower. It, it might, but it's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I think because I think yeah, this is the I think this is the point where a lot of people hit, right? Where um, it's like, okay, how do I do better than this? Because yeah, yeah, something in the mid four hundred. Because all this point uh, scoring anymore. Because all this is very like um, this is all this very sensible, very okay. Yeah, this is this is good topples. So how do you mm, improve? Yeah, it's three arms. It's very clean. Yeah, exactly. 
It's like there are no obvious flaws to any of these solves. It's kind of like... It's like... I think it's easy to hit a local minimum around this point. I think it's how I'd put it. So this is um, very reminiscent to how Fiesta bonded the elbows together. In fact, in incredibly similar, but um, with a piston instead of a triarm. And arm one does slightly more. Yeah, yeah, arm one does a lot of the work, so you can operate at a pretty reasonable every six cadence. And arm three it does the reach around geometry. Nice. But yeah, we I like the it. robo action of arm two. Yeah, arm two's got pretty cool movement actually. All right, moving on. We are still at four hundred and fifty-six tackles. Um, at one hundred and wow, at one hundred and fifty cost. Beating this by ten G was Woods push. <laughs> God damn. And you can see it's instead of two pistons, it's two multi arms okay. and a multi arm is 10g cheaper than a piston so that's what oh yeah it's syrup syrup detected we're syruping out here with each, with, with each tournament syrup continues to get more and more useful I was thinking the other day, what what kind of stuff do I want to like put on like like YouTube if I'm like not streaming Opus Magnum anymore? Because yeah, you know, that day will end one day. But I was I was thinking maybe I could do a few like metric like 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 because Biggie did so, the the big cycles tutorial and that that gets pointed to a lot as like oh you want to learn how to optimize cycles here's a good start and doing that for a couple of the other metrics. And I was thinking if I ever do one for like cost or something. Like, a, a lustrous syrup tech kind of almost needs its own fucking video. Just because it, it, nowadays it gets used, like, so often. You see it in all sorts of different metrics. Yeah, I think the way that you handle it in these streams, you cover a lot of the things in an informative way, but that's not really, like, these streams are not going to be viewed for informative. They'll be viewed for results. If you had a, a video focusing specifically on that, you might get a lot of attention for it. Yeah, yeah. I I try and ba I try and balance both. I try and like have people like if you're watching this, hopefully you learn and get better at Opus Magnum indirectly through watching these. But also that's why these streams are always so long. Yeah, it's kind <laughs> of the reason I waffle and go on a bit because I'm trying to like, yeah. I'm trying to teach people shit. But um, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like a more focused or flat. A more focused, here's how you optimize. Here's, here's a piece of tech. Let me break it down and how it's useful. Kind of a more focused video. I think it'd be pretty cool. Always wanted to do one of those. I might do one in the future. Mm -hmm. Moving on, though. Uh, we finally make it out of 456. At, 400 and, <laughs> at 441 tackles, we have Cuckoo52. That's right, syrup. I hope you like syrup. It's, it even looks like lustrous syrup <laughs> in terms of the composition of the output. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry, my dog needs food at 5 o'clock. Understandable. Okay. When does Adora eat then? Uh, Adora eats when Rachel feeds her. Pebbles is the one who uh. asks for, for me. <laughs> so this is a lot of um. So yeah, this is a lot of the same stuff we've seen before actually, with uh, elbow being constructed via lustrous. Um, this one's operating. I think these. Yeah, this one's operating as slightly. I think the cycles are being saved here through latency. It almost looks like. I, I think it's just a lower reset period as well. Because it's just subtle shit like that that explains why these are quicker. The delivery being by arm 2 is better than delivery by arm 3, which is how previous ones had done it. 
Yeah, it's kind of pretty neat that arm 2 gets to output as well instead of arm 3 having to worry about it because a lot of these, you know, you start to notice the piston gets in the way of making these faster. Pistons I wonder if arm 2 is going to be faster if it's like not, if it's like a multi arm. Since it has to reset. That's a good point, although how often do you think it would cause a problem grabbing something it shouldn't? Yeah, probably quite a lot. Yeah, I was thinking maybe a buy arm, but I think even a buy arm accidentally re grabs at one point. Oof. No, actually, also, no, it doesn't. No, it narrowly avoid. A buy arm would narrowly avoid a re grab, so you could save maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. But well, there also, was a arm, there. also, I'm not entirely sure arm 3 can keep up with arm 2 if it was upgraded to a buy arm. Is the problem the problem? Because the piston looks pretty limiting here. Because I don't see any. Yeah, I don't see any uh, gaps. Yeah, Cuckoo Fit. I'm sure Cuckoo Fifty Two has tried it. Yeah. It's but wild yeah. to me that I was at four forty two for a long time, and that would have been third or yeah thirteenth. Mm. I'm ahead of this. Cool. But uh, yeah, arm three. I think is uh, yeah, a lot of these elbow construction methods, the piston starts getting in the way a bit, and there are ways yeah. around that, and we'll find them. Pistons but... take a while to reset. And yeah, because the piston has to do all this pivoting and extending, retracting, re-grabbing, so it kind, of na it kind of becomes a bit of a bottleneck, so it's like, how do you work mm -hmm. around that? In 11th place, dropping down to 426 tackles, we have wow, Sergeant Triforce. Sounds like a three arm solve. It is a three arm solve. <laughs> oh, and I love how it's. Uh, this is well, this is pretty slick. I think we I think we've seen this elbow geometry once before, but it was not handled quite uh, as smoothly as it is here. This is Fuyu's elbows, but it also has to do pivots between half of the things to keep the arm filled with the right orientation, and that's wild. Like, the, the pivot arrangement on arm one is a thing of beauty. Yeah, there are a lot of pivot, pivots, subtle pivots. If it doesn't there. pivot, that becomes the core. But if it does pivot the correct number of times on the way, then it becomes one of the elbows. Oh, no, it, it can't become the core. It's only ever becoming elbows. It just does it in a wild, wacky way. It's interesting. There's so much pivot management. And I think the reason and because because that 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 vt mores is like it, you could you could reach you could put the vt mores in like a more convenient arrangement for arm one but i think the reason it's not is to help out arm three because arm three yeah. does not need to pivot the um nerve block at all so mm -hmm. it that, exactly. that that is to help compensate for the piston arm because as i said the piston arm kind of gets it's the most likely limiting Piston yeah. limiting, but arm one is compensating for that with this like <laughs> pivot management, which is pretty cool. Alright. Onward though to our top ten. Top ten, let's go. It's been a long time coming. Uh two hours, in fact. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well speed up. Fed. that's the two hour mark. Oh man. Um <laughs> In 10th place, at 423 tackles, we have Tweedledee. So there's one cycle on the, the previous cycle, hole. yeah. Boy. And these are six speed, so we can't even directly say that it's just the factor of latency. It's like that, the last product latency. Yeah, this is very much just latency at this point. Yeah, because arm, oh. yeah, better latency definitely on this solve. This I looked like easier that. to program, I'll say that, than the last solve. Yeah, this looks yeah. very easy to program. <laughs> I do like how many of these are input suppressing Earth with one of the Vitae Mor atoms and getting it around that. I do like the pivot to output and how it just slots the um, local anesthetic right between the piston and that bonder. But yeah, the uh, geometry works out quite beautifully here. Um, Psalm 1 and 2 do a lot of swinging around to realign themselves with um, the arm 3 construction piston. I, I think this is the... This looks almost exactly what like Fiesta was doing, in fact. I think it was uh, with the elbow construction. 
But Does I think John have a self-depreciative solution title <laughs> with the, what they mentioned in the chat. Uh, we still got John John to come. We still got Kali and Mora and Kazian. Trying to think who else. Back. Don't rely on me saying a bunch of names here. I'm going to forget many of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In ninth place. Clocking in at 411 tackles. Goodbye, Galaxy. Oh. Oh, yeah, did Rolami summon? Yes. All right. Oh, boy. Well, that's interesting. I love this firearm on the delivery. That's just incidental. It's just going to... If you put it in the firearm, it's good enough. <laughs> It just happens. So many of these being uh, 6P though. Oh yeah, I don't, uh, that was on a that I guess that's a bit of a problem with Tarkles because a lot of it can be 6 paid. Yeah. It's nice when it can't be 6 paid, but... It's instructions, but you, it's TI, but you don't care about instructions and people are taking that seriously. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you need the you need the cycles more than you need the instructions, so you throw instructions at the problem. Uh, for Xanax's case, there are five blanks in front of the instruction tape, but since all of the arms have instructions, it does not matter. The the simulation starts cycle zero on the first instruction that all arms have. If there was an yeah. empty arm, it would start it on cycle zero, and that's funny that you can add an empty arm outside of the solution to slow it down by five cycles. All right, moving on. In eighth place, we drop into the 300s. Oh, at, ooh. <laughs> at 399, Rolamni. Barely. I was at 399 for a while. Barely under 400, damn. All right, so this one gets a bit saucy, actually. That's I saucy. <laughs> I love it. It's got a wand on oh. arm too. So it's elbows, but <laughs> also that? sauce because of the <laughs> wands. Yeah, this is the hex arm building elbows, but it has a wand to take them off. That's glorious. The hex arm does all the elbow conjoining by itself. And then the wand kind yeah. of comes in pretty clutch here to put it in place. Yeah, Kali Rhesus, when you mentioned the, the hex arm building elbows, I'm like, okay, this is what you found. But having a wand to take them off speeds it up a lot, enough to make the arm worth it. And yeah, I guess it's worth, yeah, because we have not seen this do a single hex arm have construct the elbows by itself before, but you totally can. And it's not that slow, because, again, it's every less... five cycles. Again, because yeah. Tarkles, less arms is usually more important than less cycles. And Pretty... you can make it every five, because it's wanting it off. Yeah, the annoying part, though, is that it's not in a geometrically favorable place, so if you were to wand it off with other parts of the output, it would be annoying. Mm. So building a special case wand for it seems to be the way that Rolamni approached this. I just made it slow. My two-arm solve that used this tech was 221 cycles. Kelly seems to have also tried that. Yeah, so the reason it's... And yeah, it's really cool, because it needs to be a wand, because in theory, yeah, you could just have... Otherwise, arm, it has to be every six. Yeah, otherwise, arm two has to, like, be a length two arm and rotate like that, and it has to grab and reset, and that... that, that, that that's just not going to keep up with a period three case. The problem is that you can't grab from a... You can't grab anything from a uh, hex arm bed, but you can't grab anything from the arm one because it immediately grabs again after releasing. Right, yeah. You would need to slow arm one down in order to grab because arm one would have to wait around mm -hmm. for arm two to grab and then rotate before getting its own re-grab, and that just slows it right down. So, yeah, wanding, that is why the wanding is so good here. All right. It's doing it 24 times. That's 24 cycles. Mm, exactly. That's that's pretty huge. Um, Rolamni writes in the solution notes, didn't investigate this category too much. Should have probably tried a few more different things. 
Hey, this place is nothing to sneeze at, though, so... Rob, without me, it's too good at this game. <laughs> Low Epic Sword gets 8th place. I know, it's right? The, the players who just think about, okay, well, how can I make elbows? This. How can I make the product using elbows? This. And then create something like this really easily. Yeah. Alright. In 7th place. Dropping down to 384 tackles. We have Spect98. And we are going back up to four They're arms. dropping again. We're, oh wow, it's a four arm this fast. We're going back up to four arms. Spec 98 this writes... This is like... Huh. <laughs> Spec 98 writes in the notes, Now we're tackling. This is also Grimmy's solution, but faster. Not faster. <laughs> the better arm count. The better arm count. It seems like Morgan also did this because she's been talking about how her stuff is similar to Grimmy's. Yeah, I, I misspoke, Grimmy. You're good. So another way to build an elbow is to first just bond the salt onto the VT more on, onto the nerve block, but then like bring another nerve block around and you just fucking chuck out yeah. the VT. <laughs> and then like kind of have it sync and have it bond with the next VT that's in the nerve block chain and just have this like chain going and you and you and kind of snipping off parts of the chain in a different place to how you bonded it suddenly giving you the right elbow and then you can just like throw out VT whenever you want if it's just like spare it just goes into a disposal glyph mm -hmm. So, kind of pretty cool here, because arm three kind of is the one that swings around to get the, um... Yeah. Get that nerve block, but it's not a sad arm. It may look kind of sad at first, but it actually does help out... It, it speeds up the pivoting process that arm four, like, needs to do a lot of. So, it kind of comes in pretty clutch here to help arm four not be quite so slow and limiting, because... We've seen that already start to get in the way of a lot of these salts. So, yeah. Arm 3, not as sad as it looks. I appreciate Arm 3 helping the pivots. That does show, that does shorten the piston loop. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. And just helps the other two hex arms just kind of... It allows them to go faster. So, yeah. Now we are tackling. Now we're tackling at 7th place. In 6th place... At 380 tackles, it is John John. That's a 4 oh, by God. 95. That's one cycle faster than this at the same arm count. How similar <laughs> is it? Oh, it is extremely similar. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is practically identical. Oh, there is like one cycle of latency here somewhere. Was the other one 6 paid? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So they're both 6 paid. So it was just... I can't even tell the difference between the two fucking solves. Yeah, John John mentioned, I think I had this exact solve at some point, and I'm next, I think, while Specs was on screen. <laughs> oh, wow. Kali Arisa's best two arm was 382. So, uh, don't bother showing my best two arm. Kali Arisa's is on, on this one. Oh. oh um, oh, okay, it wasn't submitted, which is why I didn't know about it. Huh. Uh huh. Submit it in showcase if I want to see it. So this one... I couldn't even tell you where the latency is. Where is the latency? It's a 6p tape. I can't look at it and figure that one out. <laughs> Magically? No, somehow, if you take the Star Wars approach, somehow, John John won by a cycle. <laughs> somehow, his was quicker. Um... Obviously, it's because it's mirror, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, honestly, I'm... I, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't tell you where the, the, the latency is. It's somewhere. Oh it's my gosh, does somewhere. this loop? Does this build a waste chain by looping? Good question. Elephant mode, elephant mode. Oh, I have to zoom in. It does it double waste chain. Look at it go. <laughs> oh. All right, 
I can't, I can't pause it. Now, your computer dies because, uh, oh. port escape. Or All right, I got it. All right, let's, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> we take a bit of a drop down to three, again. down to 352. Whoa. Holy. In fifth place, Moraconda. Holy. Oh. How many arms oh. is that? Four arms. Because, yeah, Moraconda is... <laughs> oh, no, Grammy. <laughs> no longer the fastest solution, period. <laughs> it was faster than Grammy's with two less arms. Yeah, this is period 13. This is... Beautiful. It Lightning. does both of the moves. The the arm in the top right does both of the moves. Yeah, oh, check out arm two, arm 2 at the top here. It handles both earth input and the elbow realignment in the one move. And arm 1 can just go burr and continue rotating Vitae until it's in the... It's, until it's in the... Own, until it's in the Bonda. Uh, and arm three and arm four kind of share the job, and arm four actually does like the last. It, it bonds the last elbow together and outputs, so arm three can just kind of clock off early and go and grab another nerve block. Maraconda continues to just get it. <laughs> get it, girl. I like how the phone has it. just still set. <laughs> set. Set. Well, this is sus. So, Marconda writes uh, in solution notes, Wild guess number two, as in continuing from last week. Mintarkles will be about 352, and this solution will place first. <laughs> okay, all right. About far off. That, that, that guess gets my respect. That is a bolt. That guess, it, 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 it takes guts. To make that guess, it, it does look. It, good. it doesn't take it. Do, it doesn't take guts to say this will come twentieth. If you're like at the top end, it does take guts to say this will come first. So I I, I appreciate the boldness. All right, mm -hmm. clean forearm thirteen R. I do not see how this solution gets beaten. Five arm ten R is not happening, and I think a three arm eighteen R or two arm twenty seven R would require some blood stanching powder TI level shit. <laughs> however, no, arm we, we mm. however, arms three and four kind of need to do one and a half arms work to keep up with the source. I have a 20R, three arm solve without arm four. That may be this solve's downfall, but I cannot imagine anything more efficient. Found the secret source completely by accident. I was sitting at about 500 tackles, not feeling great about my solve within every four mechanism that took three arms to make the monomer. Then I realized that I could combine the arms that moved the moors and earth, leading to my score immediately nosediving the 400 and me now having in every three mechanism that, taking, that takes only two arms. Yeah. Yeah, without that is a like... very efficient elbow method. That is a saucy Without elbow. oversharing, because like we're both competitors, Mora did DM me at one point talking about like this puzzle's not going so well. And then on February 1st, she says, I retract this statement in at least one metric. I think I found Tarkle sauce. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is this is elbow sauce. That's how I'd put this. Yeah. Yeah, elbow sauce. Mm. We have four solves coming up there. Sauce. All, like, <laughs> Was know, there like Was there ever a three arm version of this? Seems like three arms, three and four could be merged. Um, Elbow grease. She no. said three arms at 126C scores the same, or places the same. It would have scored higher or worse. Macaroni with the elbow sauce. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we do need to move on though. At uh, in fourth place at 342 tackles, we have Kazian. Four ten under. Kazian. Okay. That's just been doing great. <laughs> we got an even. Oh, it's 342, so it could still be three. Yeah, it's 114. It's three arms, 114. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Ooh. Mm. Ooh, ooh. What is that Morse doing there? 
ominously floating because it's like the disposal, except you dispose uh, that way. <laughs> How did that even get there? What happened to the VT What happened to whatever was attached to it? it the VT a was ahead. So it so it does this chain like oh, thing. Oh, six speed. Yeah, it does this chain like thing, but it needs VT to be at the front. And in order for VT to be at the front of the very first one, you just need to clip off of Moors at the start. Lustrous disposal, Ted. <laughs> Lustrous disposal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let, <laughs> let me get to the solution notes, though. Carzian writes, The modern alchemical engineer thinks little of the design of gripper arms themselves, save when cursing length limits, and it is through the diligence of our forebears that transmutation can be so widespread. Ugh. I love the po position of that input, because that means the arm 3 doesn't have to grab from far. Yeah, this limits the piston instruction tape really well. This is a brilliant solution. Anyway, grippers... It's just tucked in there. Sorry, I'm going to continue reading the notes. Um, yeah. Grippers, pistons, and track are now so reliable and can move molecules so large that we rarely ever think about the mechanical limitations, to the point where reaching one is now a curious novelty instead of a serious cause for complaint. But this was not always the case. Maximos Critelli may have had to be concerned about the mechanical age of a gripper arm, its total arm hours of wear when using it in a machine. This measurement was also applied to tracks at the time, comparably applicable. I've built a machine to be run on antique engines, the sort in the dusty storerooms of the, me of the medical industry. Some still have much useful life left in them, and if they are used well, so will the patients they support. Alchemist Kazian. Still not a brick. Still not a brick. True, this solve is not a bricky solve. This is not a brick solve. This is kind of, this is more elbow sauce. I just love the Vitae running one ahead. That helps mm -hmm. this suspect thing. Spec did it, this solve does it. Kali apparently does it. Yeah, but this is like, it's better because the input is uh, well, it's in a convenient it's location. All right, it's like that idea, but ma it's like the 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 the, the specs slash grimy slash whatever idea, but manifested in three arms because you yeah. just don't dispose of the moors and have arm three. Arm three can in fact take care of it. Yeah, it doesn't everything. have it doesn't have the very long reaching out arm to the input. No, no, there is no reach out around. There is no like weird reach around fourth arm. Arm three can just do it. Yeah, because it's the input's right there. Because of the there. quirky geometry, because of arm two, kind of grabbing it out of the middle and plucking it out a bit to slam it in between the two salts. And arm this three, is amazing. And arm, yeah, arm three has direct access. So we're only in fourth. You remember? Oh, we're in fourth. God damn, the competition is high. <laughs> Do you remember last year when there was a second place tie? <laughs> oh oh wow. boy, oh, we have one again. We have a second place tie again this year. Well, I doubt it's my it? solution, so that probably tells me I win. <laughs> it is still at 342, actually. It is between, Oh wow. The tie is between Spiritual Shampoo and Caliuresis. Oh, shampoo. Two wonderful okay. people to tie. But also, <laughs> party and party, and I got first. And yes, that does in <laughs> fact mean Biggie takes first place. Congratulations. Does this just save area on the previous solve? It saves cost, actually. Okay. Because arm three is yeah, a it's single. Not a hexon. Arm three is not a hex arm. But it does the same thing. So, I'm gonna go back to Kazian's It's the quick. same assembly method. Does arm one? It's not. No, sorry. Arm two here. So arm two here. Does it actually? Yeah. It, it it's doing. It, it has a different cadence where it's grabbing every three kind of. But then it has does gaps. two pauses. So. Yeah, it does like two in it a row before double pausing. Yeah, but it does it does basically the same double straight bonder thing. Is Tarkles the tied for second metric? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like you start to converge, and then one solution breaks the mold anyway. So a bit of it's the sauce. Yeah, this is this is this solve is the equivalent of the RG solve for lubricating solvents. This is that solve where 
Yeah, this is like the greatness, and then there's just something completely extraordinary that took first. But you can see here, the um, geometry has been slightly adjusted to allow arm three to just be a single arm, and it's all and it kind of constructs it at a, every four cadence instead of doing like a double and then a pause. So anyway, that's the this one has the ominous floating Vitae instead. So that's the spiritual shampoo version. Here is the Caliuresis version, which is supposedly identical. Tarsus. Does it Tarsus. not loop? Is it Tarsus because it does not have L? Yeah. Okay. I exactly called it. Cali confirmed that uh. in chat. <laughs> Do either of them have notes? No, neither of them have notes. They're clones in that it's, way too. It's too straight up. It's. Just too straightforward. Who needs yeah. notes? Yeah, it's just <laughs> the same solve. Fortunately, only two people submitted it instead of six. I'll take that. <laughs> was a little it's fucking way harder to find. It's yeah. yeah, very hard to find. I was a little fucking worried it would happen again, but <laughs> exact same area. Yeah, it's great when yeah, you're it's, part. It's exact same solve, except this one loops. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's great when you're in the tie and you're a competitor, but when you're actually, like, the host, you the tie is something you kind of dread. So you, if a, if a big Wait, how tie, does this loop? Yeah. Yeah, a big tie kind of means a lot of people found the same thing, which meant the solution space wasn't quite big enough, so a little bit worried that was going to happen again, but it didn't. Oh, it no longer loops. No, nah, it doesn't loop. Neither of them loop. Yeah. Yeah, because nothing can grab that VT. Which brings us Another to... <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to move on to first place. Brings us to Biggie Solve. Yeah. The confidence was, was warranted. Anyone who was hoping to see what the like the end game of the brick style solutions was, I'm glad uh. I can show you what I've made. So we've been teasing it. We've been teasing it. There was a reason I knew bricking had potential. It was the Biggie three, Bricker three, herself. Three, three, who, it took the Biggie Bricker herself <laughs> to realize that potential. You want to see me build the wrong thing and then make it right? Oh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> That's clean. This was so gratifying to find. I was working at period 20 for a while, thinking I need to get it down to 19. I want 19. And then uh, 17 this happened. This is and I realized 17, yeah. Arm yeah. 1 could grab the uh, piece that breaks off and pivot twice because the only other thing in it was a single atom and that would make it so much easier to attach. It was arm one helping out that made this go from 20 to 17. The arm three even had a few cycles to spare too. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so I have some notes. Yeah, I'll get sorry, I will get to the notes actually. That's a good point. Biggie writes, it came down a lot from my initial two arm solution. I got a I got two hundred and twenty one cycles with two arms, and it stayed my best for quite a while with four hundred and forty two tackles. Then I finally got into the source with this length two hex arm grabbing earth. At first it was around 450. My goal was something like three arms, 120 cycles, but I kept needing either an extra arm or a long period piston. The breakthrough was the ability for the length two hex arm to reorient the extra piece. That immediately improved the period from 20 down to the minimal 17 given this process and amounted to 60 tackles from 399 to 339. A couple more latency later to this, sorry, a couple more latency later to this and I could believe I'm at global min. I'd say there's a chance. This is global uh, min. So happy about this. Yesterday, I just walked off to the computer, like, kind of bouncy, like, I, di I did it. I found something that really makes me feel happy. <laughs> yeah, this... is the novel metric main. Whenever, whenever there's room to innovate, 
as opposed to optimize. That's 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 when Biggie's at the most dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but just this whole idea, like, how the hell do you come up with this Biggie? Because I can't even conceptual. Like, it, it's so hard for me to conceptualize how you get from like, what is it? Let me just pause it from this shape here that I've got paused when the lag hurries up. From this fucking shape to the output, like, like in what world is that a convenient reorganization of the fucking shape? So when I ha look at two elbows connected to each other, it's like vitae salt mores, vitae salt mores with that bend. And that's exactly what happens when you rotate around a length two hex arm. If you just build four of those knowing that they don't actually fit together like that in the output, I was working for a while with what do I need to do to reorient this and yeah I I, I see how do i now. join the central core to it how do i join the core to all of this that ended up working out really well with this assembly order yeah yeah i see that double elbow right there now i do yeah. at the bottom makes a lot of sense yeah at yeah. the bottom you can start to see a double elbow it's just insane because like this part this and um, like yeah the double elbow just fits right in the output the double elbow is right there in the output yeah and arm one is grabbing like one of the end bits that needs to be conjoined with like the other end bit yeah. and that part is just like that is such a clever that is such a cool thing to spot like i was looking for hours this is probably two hours from the point where it was period 20 to this and i didn't find anything in that during much. that time like two, two hours, hours thinking that, that this is close two hours is pretty pretty long when you think you're close and you're still looking at something mm. that isn't this but just looking for all the different directions arm three could grab it from. And then once I realized I could put it in arm one, then it suddenly became doable. I remember in last mm -hmm. year's um, week two TI, I spent two hours on a single fucking Van Burlow's wheel. <laughs> so, so to me, to, for me, the fact that you found this in two hours is impressive. Cause yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. say overall, I spent closer to 10 hours on Tarkles, but the, the two were on the last little jump from 399 to 333. Apparently, Kelly Reese found a similar brick. Didn't quite work, though. Yeah, couldn't find the clean reassembly that Biggie found. The way I found a similar brick was thinking about the two halves around the core and noticing a length two arm can make that cleanly. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, yeah, uh, yeah. That's I think that's like the first bit that like makes this even conceivable. But then even the last bit is what really impresses me because you have to have so much foresight to then realize how to clip them back together so fucking conveniently. Yeah, I was messing around with reassembly methods and trying to see like, can I get this piston length down to 18 or 19 instead of the 20 I was stuck at? And I was like, well, the problem is if I get anything that's convenient for one of the two reassemblies, the other one gets really bothered. But if I pass the other reassembly off to the hex arm, then I can do the convenient one with the other. So yeah. like the piston's not even limiting by now. There's three empty cycles at the end. It's yeah. not two that's limiting. Yeah, that's so insane. It's... <laughs> Yeah, the piston had the piston even had cycles to spare. God damn, what a solve! Congratulations, that's a very well earned Thank first you. place. It's, yeah. Very when I well sent this to Yash place. and Yash mentioned back to me, Haxton wants to see this gif. I thought I just did it. I won. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, oh, yeah, because we we, we we have our like playtest server and like yeah, it was kind of like yeah, I kind of wish they didn't do that, but. Yeah, Haxton, Haxton does appreciate wet, um, rubber ducking DMs, by the way, everyone. Um, mm. Since apparently that's not clear. Because we're all like, oh, wow, Biggie submitted something really cool. And Haxton's like, wait, I don't get DMs. What the fuck? And that's. that's I've what... only been talking to you and Yash because I didn't remember the other playtesters. I'll start including Haxton. Yeah. Nah, nah, so that's like fair. the main playtester, even. <laughs> yeah, right. And anyway. this is Tarkov, how could you not? <laughs> I'm sorry, Haxton. <laughs> um, alright. Let me get the area solution parser going. If I'm lucky, we can keep it under five hours. I've, I've given up on four hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've just been rubber ducking with Zorflax. Oh, oh so yeah, you can share, you can send me your shit CSV now. <laughs> oh wait, let me, oh I, all right. I, 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 I mean, I'll right the area. Can do that at the end. All right, we'll do it. You don't have to right now. Okay, we'll do yeah. it at the end. Shit. CSV. <laughs> All right. Um. Area. Yeah, Zorfax just decided to name the output CSV file shit. CSV. Okay. So. Um. I think. I think we can start at what placement are we starting at for area? I think we'll be starting at 39th for area. Oh wow. A lot less people submitted for it. Well, it's just because there were a lot of solves that were like for both metrics at the same time, slash neither metric. Yeah. And I showed all those when we did tackles. So this will include Grimmy, who did not submit uh, Grimmy Rebix for you, River Soul, Madmaster 5000, Jason, Amuzet, um, Matrix V. I'm definitely going to do better in area then. Seven to my 31st. Oh, actually, no, I lie. I should probably start with 7 Taste Storm. My bad. Did Rebix submit for area? You mentioned the name. Rebix did not submit for area. That's why I mentioned the name. Okay. Really? Nope, no area self. Unless I would think of Rebix as an area main. Nah, Rebix is uh, Rebix is Rebix a challenging is... cost main, but Rebix area is, a... is not the strength. Uh, nah, Rebix is not an area main at all. I, Rebix almost never solves area, actually. I think I remember when Rebix did... Um, I rem uh, also, I don't think we have to be in slow-mo anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if anything, we need to do the opposite. <laughs> no, we absolutely need to do the opposite. Um... What was it? A fucking Marshall Regulus area, and Rebix remarked that that was one of the first times he ever made an area solve, so... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so this is very simple animismus method, so... Broadly speaking... I think we could just go normal speed. Well, for this solve, mm. I mean... I, I do kind of want to speed it up a bit, but... Okay. Alright. No longer breathed in rights. I spotted some accidental no ops in the code and managed to shave 12 cycles. Dough. The title is in reference to the solution vaguely looking like an ice cream cone. Shaved 12 more cycles by removing irrelevant SW pair that turned out not to affect area. What title? Title. <laughs> what does the title not? Oh, whoops. I still have it on 7 taste on. Wait. Well, I'm reading the wrong <laughs> notes. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a little... No this is why I don't like being rushed, because I start fucking up. Sorry. 7 taste on just right. Tried area. Sorry. Let me just move on, then, to... I think Play Mike Sucks' solve was... Um, I think we've already seen this one. Yeah, we've seen this one. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, so we'll move onward. Uh, so this is the solve I was reading the fucking notes for. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. I was like, what solution title? It says new solution one. <laughs> I had switched over to Discord, so I remembered when Ice Cream Cone was on the screen and didn't have the ability to correct you because I just thought, yeah, he's doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is making me want to go into every time someone complains about the stream length, I add another hour to the stream territory. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> All right. Sorry, yeah, that was the solve. That was the ice cream reference. Um, mm -hmm. So I will speed this one up. How many hours are you willing to go with that? Um, I could do like a 15, 16 hour stream in theory. I'm not gonna, but. 
Let's, <laughs> Let's fucking go. Subathons. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the mix up there. No, um. Stream goes on until morale improves. <laughs> yep. All right. See, you see, I'll just stream for so long that you, you guys who are all like asleep or whatever, you'll wake up the next morning. I'll still be streaming, and you can like catch the results. All right? If I'm <laughs> streaming for long enough, it's going to be a good time to watch eventually. All right. <laughs> all right. In 38th place, drop down to 57 area with Bun Bun. Min Glyphs, actually. Looks like a, I, I feel like there could be less track, but yeah. I don't I think, understand using a basic arm instead of a piston for area, but... It makes perfect wonder, sense. This looks like they used to be an animismus, and this is a cost of. Oh, so let me read the solution notes. Um, Bonbon bon writes, I only started playing about a week ago, January 26th, but I worked hard to come up with this solution. I know I'm joining the tourney late, but I'm excited to show what I can do. Yeah. So this actually came down from like 109 area to 57. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot about area solves if you're watching the stream. Yeah, so I will say bum bum, so like, yeah, it, 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 you actually made it out of the bottom 10, technically, with this solve. Um, yeah, this is... Joining the tournament is like you learn somewhat trial by fire esque. Like you'll pick up tech a lot more quickly. But in my personal experience, it can be a little bit more stressful than just solving through the base game. So the fact that you're willing to come up here and like submit, because I know a lot of like new players who like t looked at the tourney but were scared off submitting. So the fact that you submitted anyway was like legit. It it, it takes guts honestly. So. Yeah. Because, yeah, a lot of it's people like, just shied out, shied away from it. It's like learning to swim by attending the Olympics. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. So, you've done well. Oh, oh, interesting. She actually mentions Min Cost here in the notes here. That's funny. It's not actually Min Cost, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cost has like a single arm. So I think this probably. actually was this actually was cost brained. There you go. Yeah. It's that's that track is very reminiscent of like uh, an animismus track. Yeah, that track would be perfect if animismus was being used because you could just plop an animismus glyph right there, and arm one would have access to all four hexes because there's no cheaper way to do that. So yeah. It's it's annoying. All my homies hate the Animismus Glyph. <laughs> <laughs> Animismus Glyph is... I, I I think it's an awesome glyph for some optimization, because there are so many different things you can do with it. And yeah, but not, every, uh, not anything else. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it can get a little annoying. <laughs> um, okay. At 37th place, we'll actually drop below 50 hexes with Nightshine. Oh, hey, it's this solve again. It's this solve, but slightly different from when we saw it earlier. So, Nightstone yeah. writes in the notes, area variant of similar solve, and the one modified from other metric. Blows previous target. Curious, like, what a sweep solve, right? Can we press P? Oh, yeah, sure. Nightshine writes, I'm not... Badass enough with AG not to use the tribonder though, or even a one length arm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that would be if you could do an AG solve with just a one length arm, that would be incredible. Oh. Yeah, that you, you, <laughs> that sounds incredible if you can make that work. You should try it on a puzzle like blue vitriol or something. It would be crazy if that worked, huh? huh? I mean, there's like there's not piston solves on the leaderboard for AG on, like, say, blood stanching, pow stanching powder. I'm still annoyed that blue vitriol GA was so close to hitting min area, but we never quite got it. <laughs> yeah. 
almost a GA equals AG. All right, we'll take another. Oh, jeez, we dropped quick. Um, down to forty <laughs> hexes with Jamu. Harry is one of those primaries that just power up at like min plus one, two, and three. Can we press P on this one too? Oh yeah, of course, sorry. So Jamie writes in the solution notes, Squishy Adams. Smiley face. Squishy. Squishy. Okay, so I suppose, all right, so. I guess we're a lot of fair account. We can talk about the construction method. So this, it's, it's large molecule. It's a large molecule construction method, but it's, a non-traditional large molecule because I think the way Shadow Cluster describes this is a tree structure because you can imagine it branching out from the core. So it is yeah, a lot that of, makes sense. So it's not quite like a blood stanching powder where that's just like that'd be a more traditional large molecule because uh -huh. this would be a traditional large molecule if I say for example put bombs, bombs at the top if i had put bond at the top of the bottom yeah. that is a normal large molecule you, you suddenly bonding is a lot more annoying you need more shit you need more yeah shit. yeah you need more bonders basically but here you don't need as many bonders because you can branch it out from the central structure so that's how this kind of yeah and that's why i was kind of excited to have this as an area puzzle how'd you guys find this for area I that was took, I took my <laughs> usual approach to it, which isn't very informed and just does its best to count the number of hexes various motions of the final product will take and then work in what I can get from that. Like, yeah, basically. It was pretty. I, I liked area, but, you know, I like area. <laughs> I don't consider myself an area main. I got annoyed by it. I got annoyed with it by the end, but I did make something I'm okay with. Mm-hmm. I'm probably not good at area, but I like solving for area. <laughs> Alright, moving on. At 35th place, we drop down to 36 hexes. The hex count is almost... It's it's it's, it's almost caught up to the placement count. It's, it's, not, gonna, it's gonna beat it eventually. I guess I know right. what place I'm in. <laughs> It's not great. All right, so Minglyphs. Piston plus three hexes a track. Mm -hmm. Can we press P? Unless this just fits entirely within it. No, it doesn't. It's only at 27, only 27 right now. It's, so it's going to have to do a lot yeah. more for the last bonds. Like, if that's the place that the bonder lives, you can't do very much in this mm -hmm. footprint. You will need to use a lot outside the footprint eventually. This looks like it tried to, like, map out the footprint for one single slide for the last output. Well, it's, and it's far below up. that. So one thing that I think you'll see a lot um, in most of the solves that this does not do, and it's the reason this doesn't get lower area, is because... I think one of the main ways to, like, the construction ordering is a bit weird because it's a tree structure. There's a few different, like, ways to order it. But typically what most people did was build it in halves. And that's what this does not do. So the idea is you build half of it and then you just, like, leave the what? half on the output. And then you build the other half and then you can join the halves and then you output. And that would be a yep. way to, like, not have to do something like this, for example, um, mm -hmm. towards the end where... Um, where is it? Yeah, building halves is the way that you kind of pick the last bond that you make. I guess I can give area advice. You can. When you're building, a, when you're building an area solution to a puzzle, and that solution includes a bond, you want to check which bond in the product is the last one you make. Because once you've made that last bond, you have a full product. You now have to move it to the output glyph. So when you're looking at that last bond, you want to make sure that the translations and rotations and whatever that that product takes between that bonder and the output is all known to be used. Working backwards from there, you then try to fit everything else in that space as possible. 
That was, that was a good breakdown, Biggie. You're, you. you're pretty good at this area thing. <laughs> I've had some experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. We drop a hex down to 35 with Existentium. Gotta press P again. Yeah, for, uh, for the I, hmm? to be the kindest as possible to tournament hosts, you can put equilibriums on all the hexes that your solution uses yeah. that aren't the uh, perhaps the Cortelli is the exception. Oh. So much, uh, this is the first input suppression, right? That is input suppression. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I was kind of focusing on the bonding order because I wanted to see if this one did the halves yet. If, if we get Hobbs. Pretty, uh, kind of not. No. All right. So we don't, you still get, don't get traditional halves. So this is more elbows actually. Yeah. It's elbows. Yeah. This is elbows. Elbows are convenient. Elbows are convenient. Elbows are easy to think about, but it means you have to swing the giant molecule around more. Not necessarily. Mm. All right. Ooh. If you're using only one bonder, it kind of does. Yeah. Yeah, well, if it's one bonder only, yeah. Yeah, if you're only using one bonder, sorry, yeah. All right. Dropping down another hex in 33rd place. It's Zanuck. Nice EQ. Hackless solve, okay. Trackless, multi-bonder. Interesting stuff. All right, so this one does do halves. No track, though, interestingly. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I see. Having access to a multi-bonder means that you can do halves without the second half waiting in the way while the first half is being built. Mm. But the first half, yeah, waiting in the way while the second is being built. That multi bond just fits so nicely within that, uh, in between the output shape, though, too. Yeah. I think multi bond is a bougie luxury. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. It Maybe it's actually the best X's. way to do it. It's a lot of hexes. It's a lot of costs. Like, but, not... you know, you have a lot of hexes in this puzzle. Yeah, but if it doesn't save you in the area, you got to do without. <laughs> So the question is, is it saving area? It makes for very convenient bonds, and if it fits, you can use it. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't save area if you are doing the things like at the most compact. So I found it annoying to optimize in the end because I was using a single bonder. But maybe these multi-bonders all save a hex that I never saved. Mm -hmm. All right. Dropping down. Oh, the solution notes reads, I, I'm going to head out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dropping down, we drop another hex down to 33 hexes. We're dropping hexes. Cosmic The Cosmic. area count has not caught up with the placement yet. <laughs> it's, it's trying. It's trying. Three pistons. Huh. Also, we well, need we're talking again. about bougie expenses, extra pistons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't get the memo that this is an area cost. <laughs> well, it only matters if you can't save another hex, but I feel like this is probably, it's better than the one before it because it saved a hex. Pistons be damned. Mm hmm I'll remind you that film crystal was a um, area cost, and cost optimizing only got you to second place. To win, you just had to win on area primary. Yeah, but I mean, you know, zero's place also beat uh, first place on the cost metric. On cost, yeah. But like Nushar and Spectre, the or Nushar and Shadow Cluster were the only two at thirty-two, and Spect and I were the cheapest at thirty-three. Yeah, cheapest and fastest. Spect being faster. My barely. area solve would have won on the height. <laughs> barely faster. I remember my area solve for that puzzle would have won on the height secondary. 
Oh, true. Oh, you were yeah, the only person to do a double transfer. You're the double slider. I was yeah. the only double slider. Film Crystal, go watch it. It's a good results video. 2022. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Advertising my YouTube Three. channel here. <laughs> Week four. Week four, you're right, yeah. Week three was the... Three was a, week three was Tarkos, yeah. So, pretty rotten secondary. Fortunately for Cosmicara, it didn't matter, because we dropped down another hex to 32 hexes. Hasn't caught up yet. <laughs> it's, it's, try, it's trying its best. Um, <laughs> at 32 hexes. Egg Sucker Triple Eight at 31st place. It. Yeah, Crystal is one of the puzzles I'm the most proud of. Film I love the special characters. <laughs> it's it displays. <laughs> We've got to start getting area pileups, right? <laughs> we need the area count to catch up to the placement count. That would require dropping by two by pigeonhole principle. Okay, so as we, you can kind of, we're starting to appreciate the power of halves. Although, it's not quite clear. There are some, we'll see some funky bonding methods as we go down area, mm -hmm. but... Can we press P again? This one doesn't have equilibrium. Oh, I think it's just the two that are the two. Oh, it's just the two. Yeah. yeah. Never swings outside it. Nah. Yeah, that that's all she wrote for area. Fair amount no of one? track on the top, actually, which I find I interesting. I wonder if arm two is necessary, or if arm one could just add an extra track on top and be able to reach everything it needs to. But I guess the problem Probably. is once you have a half, once you have a half, then you struggle to get access to the other half without blocking yourself out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. This all, all that track there. Most of it never gets used much. It gets used when the board is the most crowded because it has pieces that it still has to put together when everything's on the board already. Oh, and it does it uses it, it, yeah. it, it at the very end to pivot the second half into its proper mm -hmm. orientation. <laughs> I see. Like really the most important part of all of these to understand the planning stage is when everything's on the board, what are you doing? What are you cool. doing? Um All right. Next up is a host solve, actually. Still at 32 oh. hexes, though, but at 100G. So we still haven't caught up. Is Haxton. Okay. Would have expected lower from Haxton. That's a tribonder. <laughs> Another tri tribonder. Alright, so Haxton's get. He. he Puts a couple of elbows together first, and then core. Yeah. So, not exactly a clean two halves. This is more of an elbows. This yeah, is an elbow solve, yeah. But pretty... Tribonder gives for easy elbow solves. Yeah. Yeah, Tribonder elbows make sense. Yeah. Tribonder kind of makes elbows more viable. since you... Because you don't have to split it in the middle. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. Uh, no solution notes here with this one, so. I So I was getting, so we were talking about it on the last evening before this morning um, when I started the stream, because uh, Shadow Cluster has been a bit time poor. He, he got his solve in, don't, don't get me wrong, it's um it's a good solve. Mm -hmm. um, but like his usual like analysis stuff, uh, wasn't able to do that as yeah. much. He focused a lot on trying to figure out when a solve hit the midpoint, since that seems to be a bit of a key moment, and also the end bit when you're actually. But yeah, he talks about the halfway point a lot, um, and just how many solves kind of deviate from the usual construction method and all that. So I do have like notes and stats here, but no like cool in depth paragraph breakdowns, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I know the Shadow Cluster said something the other day about um, the solution space being rather limited for this puzzle. Mm. And I guess given that it is a, 
assembly disassembly puzzle with uh, just bonder and yeah. debonder, unless you really choose to pick animismus and save yourself two hexes for uh, suppression's sake. But you know, you could just suppress, just just suppress the two atom input. It's that yeah, two easy. Ad two atom inputs <laughs> are actually very easy to suppress. Single atoms that are a nightmare. Yeah, and the yeah. other single atoms require at least two arms. And the other thing about the animismus method is that you have to commit to an animismus glyph, and that is which you know you can't if just it's awfully within these constraints. Yeah, and and if you think about it like this, like you have an animismus shape. Um, you can have an animus glyph, or you have these two, you know, D bonder input, and you can change the shape yeah, but of you these. Can separate the, right? well, you yeah, can you separate can separate the animus. Them. Yeah, exactly. You can contort them and separate them, and there is so much more flexibility in how you place them. And as long as you're not accidentally debonding shit and suppressing your inputs properly, it seems to give you more options. Yeah, if I had an animus glyph that was shaped um, like. Of a check mark instead of like a diamond, then I could have gotten an area primary improvement. <laughs> but animismus isn't actually shaped like a check mark, damn it! It doesn't. It doesn't play well with how the um output is shaped. Yeah, the output just looks too ugly for it. I mean, the sliding space the output gives is uh not my, good for animismus. My feelings. <laughs> It's not the ugly. sliding space for it. It's not ugly. Well, not, <laughs> I meant like the <laughs> the sliding positions it gives, not the output itself. Though I'd have complained that the output is ugly too. <laughs> it hurts. Hurts my feelings, best. Um. That's, that's all right. right there. <laughs> moving moving on to thirtieth place. We do not take a primary drop. We're still at thirty two. Uh oh. So we're losing ground. Well, I guess it's not catching up then. Oh, we're losing. It, it's looking a bit dire. Um. It's guilty bystander. It actually wins on secondary here. Wow. Uh, this one. I like how find yourself is just still there. <laughs> Multi bonder, no track this time. Hence the yeah. This is shape. something uh, Fiesta was mentioning. Like, I don't see why the track is needed in hexed and solve. Well, it didn't save area to get rid of it, but it did save cost. So yeah, it it pretty much was not needed. And there is your final hex. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can speed through these a bit. Because a lot of these will look fairly similar. Because it is... Unfortunately, without animismus, um, it is a <laughs> large molecule construction puzzle. It seems like it, it reminds me of infinite construction when you're using a multibonder. That you never want rotations until the thing is, like... Yeah, yeah, basically, this multi yeah. thing is reminding me of building an infinite. <laughs> Alright. I'll press on. Try and keep the stream from blowing out too much. Uh, <laughs> we do take a primary drop down to 31. So, hope is not lost that we can catch the number. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we have Fiend here. Fiend here? Okay. <laughs> have I mentioned, Somebody hates area. Have I mentioned I hate area? Ooh, two arms though. They're fast and pretty. And Fendi writes in the solution notes, low effort because no fun for me. Fair. Say so expensive. Um very um so alright, so I will I should I, I I may as well mention we will be at thirty one for a bit, so That's Yeah, no, we fun. won't be catching the placement. Sad. Um but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the most expensive 31. I mean, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, well, I guess there are non-scoring solves. Also, Cycles Tertiary, if it was the same expense but faster, this would be still behind it. But I don't think... The only way I can think of to like increase the cost is like, you know, fill in Second the equilibrium with calcifiers, yeah. <laughs> Put a so probably replace the a track with track. calcifier, even. So this essentially, yeah, this is pretty much elbows, but like pretty quick elbows. Mm -hmm. And then it's just kind of somewhat careful with its pivots when it's actually pivoting the giant half. 
and then yeah. just constructing the final two elbows and then sliding them both in. Very nice. All right. It's very compressed. Arms one, two have their little spots and everything around them is filled with atoms, part of the product. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and but the atoms aren't suppressed. Yeah, the inputs aren't suppressed and there are two arms, so you're still losing a little bit. All right, at 31 hexes, at 140 G, we have Witch Push. So, looking pretty different. We just got the two bonders this time. A different slide. We're getting Earth bonded without being calcified. That's fun. That looks kind of blood stanching powder esque. <laughs> this is a single slide. It's ending on a, a movement that is fewer final. Oh, yeah, there's that rotation, that pivot, I mean. Yeah, that fits in this footprint. Nice. This is pretty good. Molecule shuffling around. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so no multi bonder here, and so the final slide looks rather different. It actually slides in from a different angle, which is yeah. yeah so it's actually it's a little this disorienting. This is a single slide angle. Yeah, it's a little disorienting actually. <laughs> um, and the previous one because... I would call a double slide. This one I would call a single slide. Yeah. The D bonder has to live outside of the actual output footprint in this because all the places that you have two contiguous hexes you would debond something you don't want to debond actually well there's the input spot you could the input spot you're right yeah you're right. it's the only spot and that's probably even more convenient because you don't need to suppress then yeah if you, okay i'm trying to figure out does this lose area from a possible alternate rearrangement of the same final slide and it does so we might see this later how much does it lose though all I right. don't know. Mm. We find out later. In we find out. Twenty <laughs> seventh place at one hundred and twenty G. Rolamni. Rolamni. Oh. Okay. Rolamni. Okay. Oh, he the... did the new char. <laughs> he did the new char. <laughs> so, for those who are uh, new, Film Crystal, two thousand twenty two, week four was an area puzzle, and the person who got the minimum primary placed the input in the middle of a hole in the output and had to work around suppressing it the whole time. And this is what Rolamni is doing here. It's got two arms. So, Rolamni writes, didn't start doing anything for this week until Sunday evening and only placed the first instruction on Wednesday afternoon. This area solve started out with as a 33 area layout with three arms and the earth not inside the output. The plan was to use four horizontal bonders. You can still see the corresponding spaces marked in equilibrium oh, on yeah. the left side. So that's where your yeah, bonders would have gone there. Optimized oh, the even reach there. Optimized <laughs> that's the, the third arm. Optimized uh. Optimized the layout down to two arms and two bonders. Originally arm one was on two tracks, which also explains the awkward calcifier position not reachable by any arm getting rid of the track also meant that only arm two has access to the earth input so it made input suppression a lot harder didn't try too hard finding another layout or saves just noticed while writing these notes actually that getting rid of arm two putting arm one on tracks again and moving the earth input outside would also lead to a cheaper 31 that also doesn't need to worry about constantly suppressing the input tried for five minutes but couldn't path the last Vitae Moors to the D-Bonder without crashing into Oof. the product, and couldn't pre-pull it, as I wouldn't have enough storage space left. Also, the big pivot can probably be exchanged for something more area efficient, so I guess there will be some slash many 31 area 90G solves, or solves using even less area. I see non happy 2 in the chat. Or are they... Oh, what did they submit as? Who? What? Non-happy non too in it. Non-happy submitted as non-happy. That's the name that we had in Tarkles. 
Um, oh, wait, I don't remember. Unhappy. I have bad memory, apparently. Sorry, say that, come again, sorry. Oh, no, I was just... Pretty, pretty sure we saw the name non-happy in Tarkles. They've been in Discord. Mm -hmm. Don't see their placement. On... Unless they haven't come up yet. Oh, yeah, they haven't come up yet. There's... Yeah, they said they're, su they're sweating right now as gold drops so quickly. So they must have 31 then. Oh, alright, okay. I think that's my cue to move on then, because uh, non-happy is actually coming up next. <laughs> Sorry. It does I see. It, it, it drops all too quick. Sorry. <laughs> 100. Oh, oh man, an animus is gone. Yay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's W animus miss. <laughs> We find we got an animismus. It happened. I'm chuffed. Two thousand two hundred seventy six cycles because loading animismus is not fast. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so non happy rights in the notes. Thirty is probably possible. Probably, maybe. There is a reason this is labeled as the V eight, and it isn't because I was feeling funny. If someone does get area thirty, I definitely applaud them. I certainly can't figure it out. For a while, I was work. attempting to use the nerve block instead of the animismus glyph until I realized that the glyph actually saves a single tile with my current setup. That was embarrassing yeah. to realize. I refuse to optimize for cycles. I will probably have done it anyway. It's halves. This one yep, does halves. This, this is a very clean 31 with halves and animismus. Good job. It seems annoying to program because of how, how slow it all is, and I don't envy you for that. Mm -hmm. Good job it's on good. what you built. So, Looks yeah, like we, so interestingly, we have not seen animisms at all to this point. I don't... We saw I, it in 70 Storm Self. All right, we did, but yeah. yeah. But down around these placements, this is the first one of its kind. Um, I'm not sure how many more we will see, actually, because... Yeah, a lot of people well, kind of went... Mr. Puzzle seems to have had one. Yeah, okay. Huh. Because, yeah, a lot of people... Because, yeah, it's, a lot of people kind of... I think... Because in theory, Animismus can go down to the same level as... Um, as, as, no, just, in theory. As, yeah. as the nerve block region. It, it has the same amount of required hexes. Split yeah. hexes. But yeah, a lot of people... Basically, Sorry, you go. I was going to say, basically, the absolute minimum that is theoretical minimum is usually all the necessary glyphs plus an arm. So what's theory mean for this again? I, I should I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. Um, I the... always got the impression theory min was established by um, product movements and not by, you know... Well, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah but yeah. like... The, th the ve very absolute minimum would be that. You could put the input inside, probably. Dean 16. How much was it? Uh, it's like... Uh, theory min's like... Uh, uh. See, it's both 14, of the same. It's, 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 it's glyphs plus the final movement, right? It's both, so... Yeah. It's like 14 plus 8 but, like, plus 1 plus question mark. Yeah, 23, right. 23 15. plus however long it... Like, however many equilibriums you're forced to place by the fact that you have a big movement thing. plus 8 plus 10, mm -hmm. so 24... 25. Naive theory min is 25, yeah. Oh, of course, right. that's probably right, not Right, because of the possible. Earth atom. Is it because of the Earth atom? Is that... Is, is the Earth atom the reason why it's 25, not 24? Yeah, probably. you can't not have the Earth atom without having a second you arm. You either have the either, Earth atom, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Either Earth atom outside or second arm outside, so same thing. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-five is your theory, men. I will. If anyone actually sub, yeah, no one submitted a twenty-five. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh duh. <laughs> That's the naive theory, man. That's just naive, like... men. Yeah. All right. Moving on, though, we actually... Moving on, they have 25th place, not 25th area. <laughs> Sad. This is our last chance. 
Um, at <laughs> 31 hexes, at 100G, but... Also 100G, but faster. But faster is YX Web. Nice. I know YX Web as the only other person that has an all caps submitting name. <laughs> <laughs> YX Web writes in the notes, I gonna predict min area is twenty eight. So there you go, twenty eight. Commentators are really quiet. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, like, do I say anything in response mm. to that? That's a distinct, hard thing to respond to. <laughs> distinct distinct lack of oh, oh, you pushed it under the oh. Cotelli, that's funny. <laughs> I see why it's titled sad. Oh that is yeah. oh that is an unfortunate Cartelli. So this is um so with the multi bonder it's just a pretty orthodox elbows. Um it's multi bonder with better input suppression. You can see that it covers up that two yeah. atom input pretty perpetually, which prevents it ever needing to um worry about the space it takes up in the final step. Important area tech. Um definitely if you're trying to get down to these low area numbers, you absolutely should yeah. think about stuff like input suppression. Um I guess the other thing to think about with area really and this puzzle does it a bit is to think about how your giant molecules move so the reason halves is kind of pretty good is because your last is because doing it in halves means your last bond is not between some giant like 12 atom input it's between like either two seven atoms molecules or like an eight atom molecule and two elbows or whatever and that's not quite so bad to pivot around, especially when it's kind of this sort of Caltrops esque shape, because mm -hmm. yeah, the way like pivots in this game kind of work is that like pivoting this shape will be more area intensive than pivoting this shape, right? And so the more of these like one twenty degree bonds, like these, this is always going to be a lot more area efficient than like if they're a straight like shapes like that like despite being more hexes that's we hate the straights in this community apparently we hate the straights <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and so with this particular puzzle it can feel kind of comfy pivoting all the um the half around the eight or seven atom molecule half around because of all the 120 degree bonds and because the output itself like forces a large area with which you can pivot around so yeah that's kind of where you're at in area theory it's kind of the stuff you need to think about and so with this puzzle it can feel kind of comfy but again it's just such a giant molecule and you do get cramped because you need a lot of atoms on the board at one point at some point Nine up like straights. Kylie really says, says that makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. All right, uh, moving on though. At thirty-one area, at ninety G, is 42, 42 genius forty-two. How much? What's my cost? I don't remember. Uh -huh. the, uh, it's a number between it's zero number. and. 3,000. <laughs> what's the maximum you can get at... What's the maximum cost you can get at this area? <laughs> Calcifiers are the most cost-dense besides pistons on tracks, and I don't think many yeah. people have spaces where you could add a piston on track without adding area. Yeah. Mm. So, if you take all your uh, equilibriums, looks like you have uh, four of them? No, you have more than that. You have quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven equilibriums. You can add seventy G to this and be more expensive than Fiendeer, who had one fifty five. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, it's only a six. I was mistaken. There is not an extra hex taken up between the earth input and the product. Good job. Yeah, this is also height soft. It's mid height. height. Let's go. A <laughs> is optimized for H A. 
Team 42 member Genius 42. I, I'm pretty sure it goes lower for HA. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, it probably goes lower for HA. <laughs> um, Alright, gonna move on here. Next... Oh, wait. No, sorry. The solution notes read, Officially area now rather than Tarkles. Also, 5 height for bonus points. That's fair. Yeah. Alright. Next stop, though. At 31 area. At 90G. Still at 31. Still at 90G. At 1,026 cycles is small crepe. Just the small crepe makes a small solve. Cycles. Yeah. Nary a moat of understanding. So that was... <laughs> that's a 31 cycle difference. That is practically nothing. That so is an interesting input. That is quite far away. The input is just that is that that input is not getting suppressed. <laughs> and also, the debunder is not getting in the way of other shit because that debunder is useful for only pulling that input out. Yeah. Well. So yeah, bit of a quirky glyph placement. Other than that, very similar to the last of very um, mm -hmm. build it in halves, doing elbows because yeah, multi bonder makes that easier. And there we go. Alright. So I'm thinking of really picking the pace up here, so... You're going to tell you don't have to pick your one. Yeah. As long they all look pretty skip similar. As long as they don't yeah. skip, yeah. In 20 seconds... Are there like, any notes here? No. Okay. Oh, no, wait. No, there was not. Um, In 22nd place, we drop down to 30 hexes. So this is the best 31 submitted. Dropping down to 30 hexes, we have who? 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 <laughs> who? Staying brain cell. <laughs> knock, knock. Ah, uh, we start expensive again, good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? <laughs> so who writes in the solution notes? I must redeem myself for last week when I proved 70G impossible with a length 2 arm and didn't even try a length 1 arm. But is this even min area? Is this min cost? Should I have waited until the last 4 hours of the contest to start coding this? Probably not on all counts. By the way, the lower track is only used once at the very end. Maybe if I had used it from the beginning, I wouldn't have consumed enough cycles to feed a family of four. I like their attitude. <laughs> You're right. Those are some pretty dope notes. With a name like that, you gotta write some pretty dope notes. <laughs> <laughs> really inconvenient uh debonder placement that they have to bond stuff to and then debond it on the de on the bonder like there's so much wow. intermediates in this this is like a yeah. ag style intermediates yeah it's damn. a full access debonder though barely barely yeah the two yeah, arms arm two reaches it the two arms it's have difficult to like communication though yeah yeah arm two arm one and two can't communicate not directly yeah, arm one and two can't communicate yeah so you know, having the fact the fact that it's full access doesn't mean that much. This is a cool. This is pretty cool. A lot of thought went into it, though. Um, mm -hmm. Because of that inconvenient debonder, you can't just elbow. At least I'm pretty sure you can't just elbow without like being a bit fancy with your intermediates. Actually, I mean, you can elbow just fine with a half axis debonder. Oh, it just can? requires like you know bond. You have to bond first in a triangle shape, you know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Triangle shape. That makes sense. It's cool to see that it keeps the input suppressed during the the, the two atom input suppressed during the entirety of the final movements in assembly. Mm. Like that's saving some area right there. Whenever you can keep an input suppressed until the product is dropped, that is a uh, area tech. Yeah. It takes a very specific set of access points to be able to achieve that, though. And if you look at, like, okay, well, my arm has to exist here if I want to achieve this thing, then that means that there has to be an arm spot there. And that's kind of a negative at some points. Fiesta writes, one motif we are seeing... Fiesta? Oh, okay, Fiesta. in chat. In chat, in chat. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> don't, don't get alarmed. Um, one motif we're seeing, last bond is a two-move from output. 
Unless you do the alternate one, but yeah, other than that, all of these are all... all yeah, these are all double slides. Yeah, double, double slides translate. are easy. Yeah, double translate. Uh, so, the question then becomes how much of that footprint can we use usefully? So you have to pay more attention to that particular footprint. Mm -hmm. You can squeeze a lot out of the footprint, I can tell you that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I started by doing that, placing a bunch of tracks, and then trying to get rid of the tracks one by one. <laughs> And yeah, a lot. Yeah, and all of that is like how you conceptualize a layout. A lot of it comes. I think I started with three tracks. I started with more than three. Yeah. Anyway. Um. But yeah, a lot of it's just like because yeah, using that double translate and use that as your footprint and try to fit as much shit as possible into that footprint. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And in 21st place, uh, dropping down to 105G, we have Cuckoo52. Sounds like a tribonder. It is. It's a yeah. tribonder on three track. <laughs> I know that number. There's actually 29 area for most of it. When does it use... It doesn't... Oh, the 30th, I think, was just one of the holes. Never mind. They're the one of the middle ones? Yeah. It just hadn't used it up until now. That is a very suppressed input, though. Help, help. I'm being suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, so the slick thing with this particular uh, oh, this, arrangement of... This is actually very similar to myself. <laughs> yeah so the particular yeah the cool part about this arrangement of track is how you can just barely get both elbows in bonded and both of your other pieces of track are covered whereas with the piston you're just yeah the input it, the double input is fully covered when the last bond happens yep you can see, or, or, or yeah, your, your track is completely covered. Your input's covered. Yeah, it's a very efficient use of the space. That debonder though. That debonder though. That earth input though. Earth, earth input can't do much. You can't put that inside the footprint. <laughs> no, actually, yes, that is true. In twentieth place, we're at top twenty. That felt a little, that felt a little quicker. Um. <laughs> There's less people in its area. Yeah, in its area. And these souls are a lot more similar, so I can kind of breeze through them a little bit more yeah. quickly. In, at 30 hexes, down to 95G, we have Mr. Puzzle. Mm. Animismus Glyph made top 20. Animismus, let's yeah. go! <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Puzzle had said something in chat that suggested his was an Animismus solve, so I'm glad that that's uh, still here. <laughs> We got an animismus into top 20. We'll take that. Oh, that pivot over there. <laughs> Surprised That's that cool. doesn't take more area. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's a bent thing, so it doesn't take area. Yeah. Those little spokes, the spokes on the bent thing is what scares me, though, <laughs> when they swing like that. Yeah, Fiesta writes, you don't need to suppress anime. That's basically the, the argument in favor. The argument against is that four contiguous hexes are a pain in the ass to fit into most good layouts. Yeah. The argument against is you can still suppress the input and, you know, it's cheaper. You don't need to. You... you don't need to. You Which don't can need be nicer. to. You have it's a little nice. bit more freedom because you don't have to have something suppressing input to be able to continue to use the space. Mm-hmm. So, Animismus Cliff, is it broke, is it woke, or is it bespoke? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had that prepared? Um, that felt off the cuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, I, I, I had to bite my tongue a bit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Using that literature major. Oh yeah, no, putting it, to, putting it to great use, obviously. Are there <laughs> notes for this one? No, there are no notes. No, okay. Alright, moving on. In 19th place, 
same area, same cost, but dropped down like 150 Faster. odd cycles to Surgy D. Not Animismus, okay. Not Animismus. What is this? Is a single it's slide solve. Layout. Rolamni layout, yeah. yeah. This is Rolamni layout. It's a single slider. The, the life sensing, the quote unquote life sensing potion. Who else do we give credit so, to? There was one sense. previously. Oh, I couldn't remember actually, if I'm being honest. Sergi D writes in the notes first area solve. I don't want to go through this anymore. <laughs> what? There's an actual solve. That, that's, that means oh, there's six tier. That's so sad. <laughs> I mean, I can't talk. I had to 6P as well. Rip. <laughs> Six p. I mean, from what you used. Hmm. Oh, I was about to say from what Biggie said. I think she might have a double, but have a single slide as well. No, no comment. It's, no. You have to see it to believe it. It's just, uh, it's just a solve to the puzzle. Is it that good, Biggie? No, it's not good. It's it's that good. No, it's not good. It's great. Yeah, it's that you good. You have to see okay, it well, to believe it. If someone bothered to submit it. It's top 20. <laughs> yeah, I think That's it's just a dead. representative of Biggie Tries Area once, and if that does mean that I do well, then screw it. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. You've already got the first place, and we're not even... That, that's not even your best metric. Like, you are laughing right now. I am laughing right now, but it's because you're bullying me, and I like this <laughs> a little bit. So, like, <laughs> not, not yet telling you no. <laughs> I, the attention is better than the annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm aware of it. We love our area, mate. See, it's a rule of comedy. You have to. The joke has to be funnier than it is mean. So as long as I'm funny, <laughs> I can be mean. <laughs> you get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Coming up next. See, so, yeah, see if we get more single slider layouts because they're very. They're actually quite interesting. Cause... Single sliders are whack. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because they're so whack. They're cause... a lot more difficult to do. Yeah. It's single sliding seems like doing this area puzzle in hard mode. <laughs> but I said the same thing about bricking and look where we went with bricking, so don't yeah. count don't count it out just yet. Who knows? Who knows? I mean single slider can theoretically go lower because it's you know, single sliding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Single to sliding means like you... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, single sliding means that the final uh output is the final output shape is formed one slide away from the output glyph itself. Yeah, In so most of these, the last is... bond is two two moves away from the output, but this one, the last bond is one move away from the output. It just means it mm -hmm. has to be a different bond because it can't be the one in the middle that takes two slides to reach the output. Right, so the single slider basically means it, it refers to this position coming up here where I make the final bond and the final bonds are made and you only need to do one translation. So double slide means yeah. you would need to do two translations but it happens at a different angle. So We will out. see a lot more double slides I assume. Yeah, yeah. You, the up. double slide method was way more common because it's just easier to figure out. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily better but definitely easier to figure out than the single slider. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up in 18th place we drop down 5G to pray for mercy. We're still in 30. Okay. 6P so is bad. <laughs> it's only 11 that's a, seconds. That's a single piston without track. It's fairly yeah, cheap. Really cool. Well, you gotta have to pivot that um, input a couple of times to be able to suppress half of it while you put together the last pieces. But it's cool that, yeah, yes. multi bonder no track is 30-able. Mm. Does Critelli use that area? Um, no. No, it doesn't look like it, no. So yeah, this would be a double slider because it's uh, once the output forms, it's two slides away from the actual output in Glyph. Hmm.
Yeah, the, the whole way that it suppresses the last input so that it can place the piece in the multibonder in the right orientation is why it's 6p, but that's only to save cycles. You can also kind of undo those moves and then start the thing yeah. over again, and it would just be like plus, what, 50 cycles at most. 50 cycles, doesn't matter. Who knows? Let's see. <laughs> Um, this is the I only doubt thing much more G G at ninety. Like no one's yeah. no one's slower than this by fifty because this was a cost drop from Sir GD. And in fact, the cycles count ended up not mattering because we take another cost drop down to eighty-five yeah. G. Oh wow! That's Wait. like two bonders and tracks. To wheedle day. One, one bonder, bonder and, and some tracks. Yep. A single bonder, min glyph. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is basically my layout except I. Uh... Whatever, I'll say it later. <laughs> well, you'll, you say you'll say it later or when we get to. You'll say it later when we get Biggie. You'll say it later when we get to first place. I don't believe you. <laughs> but the the programming on this and the fact that it's a slow solution because of it is very familiar to me. This is a terrible debonder position because you have to take things like from one track hex to another to be able to do everything you need to do with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's cheaper than other ways of filling the same footprint, so you kind of commit to it and then get annoyed. This is why I consider the puzzle to be annoying, is that this layout is uh, hard to work with. Yeah. Can't you just... You, can, is it possible to put the debonder way down there? Like in the If you bottom? only have access to one of the two pieces of the debonder, it's even more annoying. This is the less annoying of the two debonder positions at this sort of track and uh, products. Really? Yeah, this, this like, debonder, it's not you that easy to, to. I mean, if you like put the debonder at the very bottom and just place a lot more track, you can reach them easily. Yeah, exactly. But I was, as I said, I started out with more track and then saved track. When I started with yeah. mine, uh, the the debonder was two more pieces of track. It was a five trapezoid track. So basically, it, replace the debonder with the track, and you have yourself. <laughs> well, you have my first solve. I improved it. Yeah. All right, yeah. moving on. But, this is, in fact, our last 30 area solve. Is it still 85G? What? Is it still 85G? Oh, no, no, as in Tweedle D had the best 30 area. We're moving on. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 29. At 29 area, we will be starting up at 140 cost with random name 7190. Also, one, two, three, four cycles. Not going to win any cost awards. Yeah, two pistons and a huge track river for them. <laughs> I wonder how much rivering actually does that crosses in between. I mean, when you're going to have to fit both arms in the game somewhere while oh, you're yeah. making the final product, then they have to scooch to the back. Wait, this one does suppression. <laughs> this one does single input for session, single atom input suppression. True, it has to because of the... Um... Yeah, because it's oh. in the double slide footprint. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Oh, God, it goes right behind arm two. So arm two is like at one point completely surrounded by atoms. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. To be able to have 29 cycles, or to, to be able to have 29 area in a double slide footprint, there need to be only... Uh, three things outside of the... There's three oh, no, things. Three. three things, yeah. Yeah, one of them can be an arm base. In this, in this case, it's one arm base, one atom, and then the other arm base. Three mm -hmm. things outside of the uh, bonding footprint is... Three things. That's that's a few of them. It's not zero, but it's also kind of hard. Mm. Yeah. All right, we'll watch it out. Put one more time. Because it... <laughs> Man, it struggles to get that last bond on. Yeah. Damn. But it has the space to do it. It gets there. It does. It gets mm -hmm. there. Random name writes in the notes, something, something, if someone gets less slash tied area and more cost, I'll commit a silly. <laughs> well, You can put an extra uh, cost at lower area. area. <laughs> There's no point to it, but you can put electric calcifier at lower area in the middle over there. <laughs> Alright. Moving on to 15th place. So 29 area was good enough for top 16. So there you go. Mm -hmm. In 15th place, at 125G, we have Nova. Alright. 29, the I guess. The cost is dropping. The cost is dropping. 
Oh, interesting this is so sad issue. that there needs to be another arm, but that's because you lose access to the second half unless you have uh, another arm. Yeah. How many necessary actions does that second arm do? And I'm wondering, oh, well, no, it does the, it does the spin around to get the output over to there. Because I'm wondering if like you add track under arm one so that it can reach the bottom part of the input and then you move the calcifier a little bit, would that allow you to get 28? I don't know this, I don't know for sure. Arm two is currently uh, locked in, doing its work. I've seen this move a couple of times with the um, second half being done where first it'll make a caltrops where's the caltrops uh make the caltrops damn it all right we finally have a caltrops um it was at the very end so you have a caltrops and that gets put like to the side a bit the elbow gets put in place and then the caltrops is pivoted from the salt not once but twice Actually, yep. all right, so this one only pivots from the salt ones, but same principle. Um, that second pivot needs to be on the Vitae so it continues to suppress the Vitae more input. That's amazing. Okay, that I see is... Arm 2 putting in a lot of work there. It's saving the input suppression on the other input. Yeah, damn. So, yeah, a bit of a key moment there. So, yeah, input suppression. Arm it, it... 1 does not have access to that uh, other part of the bonder during that cycle, so Arm 2 is the only thing that can uh, save the solution from unsuppressing that input. Cool. So, Yo-Yo Nova, I'm uh, sorry, Nova, um, writes in the solution notes, though in reviewing the incidents of my solution, I am unconscious of intentional error, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I don't see how 28 or lower could be done, but I likely made some wrong assumptions. No cycle optimization. Yeah, too. No cycle optimization because no thanks. Would it matter? Is uh, anything else at 125 G? Uh, no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. matter. Would not have mattered. In 14th place, at 105G is Winter Ray. Oh, we're at 105 already. Sounds like that's the Tribonder and 3 track. Should be. Tribonder 3 track. Tribonder 3 track. Yeah. That looks familiar. <laughs> so, Winter Ray, interestingly, writes in the solution notes I spent hours and hours staring at 28 area layouts which, by my theory, requires two arms and suppressing both inputs. Uh, each time I felt oh. that I'm close to success, some impossible maneuver arri arri arose arise that I couldn't find any way to get around within the layout. Assembling What's the this extra track needed for? Assemble this 29 area in the last few days. Either I missed something, or someone solves this in 28 area is a true wizard. So there was... I'm thinking you can do this in 28 without that extra track to the right. Probably. Uh, I think it... It's used at several points. When, yeah. is it, when is it necessary to use that? Oh, I think you need it there for that translation. I mean, it's using it a lot because it can. I think it does need to. It doesn't. For the, it, I think it, there was one point where I think it looked like it needed to when it was making a C shape. Hopefully, it does it again. It needs for horizontal movement. Needs oh, horizontal. put a sliding in the final uh, elbow. Yeah, I've run into that. Yeah. So like, yeah, I th like around there. It needs to slide in the e final elbows. Mm -hmm. Like when it unsuppresses the earth and then puts in the elbow, that would be a requirement. Ah. Uh... Yeah, that. Fair enough. All right, we'll see if it, we'll see if it can be done. We'll see if twenty area can be done. 
We'll see if it can be done. We're still in 14th place. <laughs> At 13th place, we drop down to 90G. At 1,594 cycles. We nice. have spiritual people. We have spiritual shampoo. Whenever I hear secondaries matter or tertiary matter. Uh, wait, uh, is this a Fibonacci number? <laughs> 13 uh, is a Fibonacci number. 13 is a Fibonacci, Fibonacci number. Fibonacci streak, let's go. <laughs> Good job on Fibonacciing. So sad about the half access debunder. And fortunately, <laughs> 2 is also a Fibonacci number. So spiritual no longer in shambles. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been released from shambles. How many A's is that? More than necessary. Exactly as much as needed. Nah, there's way more than 29 days. There's like 100. And I'm I'm mostly joking. There's a That's friend of mine off. whose uh, name is 23 A's. Oh. <laughs> on Discord. This song so is also, just... you know, 29A. Yeah. Spiritual it would have been, been after there was 29 A's. But, yeah. Spiritual Shampoo writes in the solution notes, I have skill issues. I mean, this is a skillful solve. Yeah. You even managed to make it have that of... work. He could be in yeah. the camp of someone who tried to find a 28 and was having trouble. It's a half-axis debonder for an arm without a track. Oh, actually making this particular solve is absolutely a giant pain in the ass. I have, <laughs> I have no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. Spiritual skill issue. <laughs> so yeah, trackless piston is necessitating a half access debonder, which is why he is making so many diamonds here and having to rearrange yeah. them because that is the way you make an elbow. You can't just directly make an elbow. You got to do this like make a full diamond and then like debond the extra vitae and then now you actually do have a diamond and you can bond that on like so sounds really efficient <laughs> oh yeah um funnily enough this solve actually gets beaten by 11 <laughs> cycles good back out just back in time what tarkles are we at uh, this is a decent 1594 tarkles solve about 4000 <laughs> yeah yeah, it's the 1594 taco sauce. So, uh, beating Spirits of Shampoo yeah, sold by 11 cycles was Evanov. This looks like with a guy. With 6P. With 6P. It's or 6P, not 6P. Okay. With, with 1Ping to prevent 6Ping. It still mm -hmm. beats Spirits of Shampoo on cycles, which I find yeah. somewhat <laughs> impressive. That's because it has access to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is identical to one of my earlier layouts before I trimmed another track. So I'm coming up, I'm sure of it. I'm probably not top 10. Hate to dispel the illusion that I was an area main all along. No, I'm in shambles. Hey, you got top 10. No, I'm doubting I'm top 10. I'm probably next. Zolflaxual well, shambles. Well, I mean, there might be another 90 gold song. More self slower than you at your cost. My Tarkles main already missed top 30. If my area main misses top 10, then I'll be the one in shambles. Your other main got first in Tarkles. You just swapped them around. <laughs> I'm I your area's believe, main now. And... I do believe you invited Vist on for Tarkles and me on for area as a meme because each of us was doing really well in the other metric. I have no idea what you're talking about, Biggie. <laughs> uh-huh. I, uh -huh. I wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> the notes for this solution, uh, I shouldn't have reset yeah, it. Yeah, should just keep it playing. Yeah, anyway. Uh, the solution notes for this type, for, the solution notes read, I made too little of an attempt at new charring the earth atom. Nice work, the spiky shape. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I feel much less stressful today than yesterday when I don't have any area solve despite plenty of sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn. 
Yeah, getting a solve, getting a solve on the board can be the hardest part. Sometimes I get, um, I don't know. In, in my own experience, I started solving. Though, though. When did I send you my first gift? When did I start solving this puzzle? On the 29th. Yeah, damn. Like, uh, Monday. <laughs> Rolami mentioned he didn't even start till Wednesday. Yeah, or well, I mean, he placed things down. True. <laughs> on he, Sunday. He probably had the solve already half sorted. Half. He, he probably had the like, thing. Placing half... things down is like half of area solves. Yeah, I feel like. Re I mean... With Rolamni, he uh, does most of it in his head because he can do that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> By the time he's placed an instruction down, he's probably got the whole thing figured out anyway. You place, what, 10 parts and 300 instructions, and you're going to tell me that the parts are only half? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, show me, show me an 11th. I'm, I'm here. I'm next. <laughs> you're not next. Oh. Top ten. In eleventh place is in eleventh place is Moraconda at one thousand four hundred and forty three cycles. It goes faster. A multi and in an area solve it can't be. <laughs> These are all reminding me of uh This is spiritual shampoo. Tonic of hydration. Yeah. It reminds me of tonic of hydration where like uh it's also a single piston oh no, it's two piston arms and a tribonder. Oh, does I, does oh does that one use a uh, multi bonder in its area record? Yeah, it does yeah. for the for AC. It doesn't use it for AG. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. AG is two bonders. Hmm. Hmm. Rather interesting coincidence. Um, uh huh. <laughs> Mar Marconda writes in the solution notes. I feel like I either have min or like min plus four with no in between. Lol. No. <laughs> Noticed on the penultimate day that anime was viable, but couldn't bring it in me to start searching layouts from scratch again. D Bonda plus Moore's Vitae input versus anime is the same number of hexes anyway. Almost identical layout to my first area solve, except minus one area from pivoting the D Bonda to make it half access. So I think it used to be on Critelli. Yeah, the Critelli is the saved point. Mm. Tertiary optimized from like 1800 cycles. Would be funny if that ends up mattering. It mattered. It did. It Got does. Quite a bit. <laughs> I couldn't see a single translate to the output working at all. But if it is doable, then this solution may get blown out of the water as that saves a potential five hexes over a double translate. Five hexes? No, we did 20. We calculated as 25. It's more like four hexes. Yeah, it's more like yeah, yeah. I don't think it goes. I don't think theory min is anything under twenty five. Yeah, I didn't calculate theory min for a single translate. Maybe that's a lower theoretical limit, but like we've only seen two single translate solves. Oh no, single translate. Single translate is the one that goes to twenty five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But like we have not been seeing single translate solves very much. In fact, there, are, if I remember correctly, there are two in the top twenty so far. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we'll see it more in the top ten or not. Moving on, it's still not biggie. It, it's wow. still not biggie. <laughs> still at ninety G at one thousand two hundred eighty one cycles. Spec ninety eight. Well, I'm glad I saved that last piece of track because I wasn't faster than <laughs> these. Yeah, this is exactly the solve I started with. I'm pretty sure. Just better tertiary. Just, you're because. more of an area main, so. I'm <laughs> willing to remove a piece of track and try my best to still survive. See, I remember after last week, after Blue Vitriol, you were talking about how, you know, you weren't quite the, you know, top placement getter that you were in previous years. And I'm like, yes, you are. It's just that it's week one. Was my yeah. <laughs> interpret? It yeah. was my internal response to that remark. I like that you use the word "sicko mode" to describe when I start to actually excel at these things. Absolutely. <laughs> Once, Biggie double first place. 
God, it's no. just going to keep piling up. <laughs> Everyone made twenty nine ninety, and they lamented that they couldn't make a twenty nine eighty five. Sure. <laughs> that would be you know funny. you might be faster than everyone out of 2985 all right spec 98 writes in the solution notes is this even mineria lol 29 area can be broken down into 14 for the output glyph 12 for the last bond position and movement to output glyph 3 for extra for dodging the big molecule as last bond is made arm earth input and half of the vt mol's output hmm What's our last one our last one is anyway i don't think there is a better last bond position but i haven't looked that hard for it also in theory there might be a way to only need two extra area to dodge the big molecule either two arms and full suppression of inputs or one arm and the earth input suppressing the vt mol's fully so, potentially, a route to 28. If you could suppress the Moore's Vitae input fully. Or you do some insane new char bullshit. We've seen insane new words char or bullshit. Yours? That's my words. Specs. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Sorry, no, those were not specs. No, <laughs> Spec did not use the word bullshit in his solution notes. No, so, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was me. So... We do drop down to 85G. It's still not Biggie, though. It's <laughs> Kevlan at at 2,515G. Uh, uh, this is amusing. <laughs> We're just yeah. teasing Biggie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is slower than me. Good job. In fact, it is slow enough that... Yeah, my... exactly. <laughs> oh, no. He took the, the half-access debonder. Oh, uh, oh. So for, yeah, there was someone mentioning like when it was um, Tweedledee's solution and I was lamenting that that debonder position was annoying. That's if you put the debonder on Cortelli and on the um, uh, equilibrium next to it. The alternative being that you put debonder half access. And I decided that that would suck. Kevlaren decided that would be the right place. Kevlin writes in the solution notes, the boys in marketing like this one better. <laughs> and I'm pretty yet? sure this is 6P. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually 6P'd out to save cycles. <laughs> this isn't full access. Bear, bear this is half cycles. access. Yeah. Yeah, have this you seen Kaz yet? I'm just thinking of people with K names. They're doing really good in this tournament. <laughs> Calyaresis being one of them helps. Yeah, Calyaresis. Cassian's doing great this week. Gosh, my Tarkle's solve is preventing Cas uh, Calyaresis having a full first place streak, and I'll take that. You, yeah. you, you are currently <laughs> the only one to dethrone Calyaresis. I'm the only person to beat Calyaresis with spiritual shampoo having the honorary mention of tying. That's funny. Cali sweep, Cali sweep. <laughs> the boys in marketing all right that one is kind of slowing my computer down a bit so i am going to move it's on six p yeah it's been six paid all right next up at 1594 cycles it is in I'm fact finally here biggie at Yay. eighth place <laughs> Yep, that's me. I get eighth in an area puzzle. That'll that'll be good. I my my title spells how I felt by the time I was programming this one. <laughs> More annoying than anything. If someone got twenty eight, I'll be satisfied to say it. All right, let's have a look. Oh. Gander at the notes. My first area solution was twenty nine, but with five track and the D bonder at the top. I rethought where I could manage access points, and it evolved a little bit down to three track. This debonder position is more central, but that makes it more annoying to work with. This is quite a bit slower. I have no idea what good solves look like. I feel like the suppressions at the final step are inherent to this puzzle, but it isn't theoretically impossible to suppress the Vitae Moore's input using the product the whole time and not need that extra earth. Or you could place animismus to save the other input and reduce the burden of suppression outright. It just doesn't fit anywhere in layouts. 
I thought that we've seen someone fully suppress the double input. Yeah, but it needed an arm in a place that I don't have access to. Yeah. So did you think very hard about 28 Biggie, or...? I did. I came back to it like four or five times looking for area layouts that would work, but I... I don't think of layouts as being viable when other people might, and so when I looked at these layouts that could be like 28s and I thought about like, okay, but I can't do this critical thing, therefore I think this layout won't work. I might not be as creative as the best area players. Yeah. My sense has annoyance gets Super Saiyan. Oh no. <laughs> oh good god. Oh good. no. <laughs> let's, let's wait. <laughs> All right. I shall move on then. Does it go cheaper than this? Less, one less track. It goes quicker than this, actually. Um, <laughs> next up, at 1,540 cycles. Wow, really close. Cali Racist. Cat, okay. okay. Is it the same layout? Oh, no, it's half access. Half okay, access. Day Blunder on the far end. Huh. Apart from the Calcifier position, this is Kevalaren's layout. But a lot quicker than Kevalaren's. <laughs> and actually Sasser quicker than reason. mine. Actually quicker than mine. So he does maybe the... it once again justifies the partial access. So I, he does, I think, what Spiritual Shampoo did to the diamonds, actually. Also, I agree with Goodbye Galaxy. I also thought it was a while ago. Sorry? Oh, Go by Galaxy is talking like they thought they were like seven places ago. Next seven places ago. <laughs> but yeah, so this sort of kind of... Um, it's like what Spiritual Shampoo was trying to do, but with track. So it doesn't look like a giant pain in the ass. Because track. Also, it's actually kind of nice because um, the diamond turns into a caltrop directly at... Um, for half the time so yeah so it uses a diamond for the caltrop and a triangle for the elbow which so yeah you're not like extra handling atoms which is kind of nice i couldn't be asked to actually program out a half access debonder solve and see if it cycles came out faster than my uh one with the debonder it, and then it doesn't make it. sense I just, I figured it would be slower and that I would not be able to do it optimally anyway, so I might as well be suboptimal yeah. at the easier thing than the hard thing. Yeah, I actually, Fiesta pointing out that it's the triangle part that's actually the, the key cycle save over what we've seen before. So yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah. Who's left? We got Kazian. We got by Galaxy, Fiesta, Fiesta Kazian. We have yeah. Ubist. Yeah. You're Amara showed up. Sorry? Amara showed up in Avid. Who's no, I was wondering if Mara showed up. Mara has shown up. Mara. Who else? That's not a lot of people. There's still like six places to go. Well, in sixth place, at 29 area, at 85G, at, at 1,477 cycles, still the king of secondaries. Goodbye, Galaxy. All right. A trip to the dentist. No, this is a tertiary, it's not secondary. Sorry, yeah, sorry, king of tertiary, it's my bad. So, so you know, it's the same three track, it's just a different earth atom input. It used to be at the back of the, like, it would be the butt of this, but it's faster to put it where it is. I'm kind of tilting my head a bit to look at this one, because all the other ones, I'm used to seeing them <laughs> Yeah, the other ones have put them flat, this one, no. <laughs> All right, so looks very similar to what Kelly Oasis was doing. Um, Obviously, the angle there's a pretty cycles. sick actually. That full access day bonder allows you to pull off a straight stick intermediary at the start. There's a couple of different intermediaries actually here. Um, definitely, I know we're talking about justifying the half access day bonder, but I think the full access day bonder has um, strengthened its case yet again. Yeah, I mean, so Kev was half access, I was full, Kali was half, Goodbye Galaxy is full. It's the same cost, the same distribution of parts. Is there a, is there an empty pivot during one of those? It looks like the arm moves and does a pivot in the middle of nothing while holding nothing. Uh, so I'm looking for a ghost grab. Um... It's 
it's when there's a second half already on the board. It's like it's going back towards input and it just pivots with nothing in it. Oh, oh, you did it is an empty pivot. Yeah, I just sorry, sorry. Um it's gonna be hard oh. to pin down, but <laughs> Yeah. Six wasted cycles. Tertiary it champion it, is already terrible. Does it uh <laughs> does it matter? Six cycles? If it does, that would be wild. Let me let me expose this empty pivot. Also, I'm laughing. This is, it's good this is why you stare at your gifts. He's been he's been tilting his head the whole time because everyone else built it different from him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think it's coming right up. I think after no, it we... was before this. Oh, was it? it? It's not early in the solution. It's really close to the end, but not as far into the end as you slowed it down. Don't bother. Oh, okay. We don't need more time on that. Okay, whatever. I swear it was this. I, 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 I memorized the 750 cycle mark and then I went back to 750. I must have missed something. Um, mm. It didn't matter. No. Um, <laughs> no, in yeah, fact, no. Goodbye Galaxy submitted the best 29 area. We actually okay. go down. Oh. It is time. We're in 28 now. We are at 28. It is time. It is time. So, every 28 submitted had the exact same cost. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Look, do they all look the same? So that should tell you something about the layout. For those of you oh, who... Oh, shit. So for those of you who got a 28. Uh, yeah, so it all comes down to cycles. It's tertiary. It is a, it is top, top five is a tertiary race. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I should so, have looked more into it then. So, all of these souls will be at 28 area and 105 cost. So, I'll just read the... I'll just cost. read the... I will just read the cycle count from now on. At 3,070 <laughs> cycles. <laughs> Kazian. Yeah, it said something. It gets annoying. Annoyance can go Super Saiyan. Annoyance just went Super Saiyan, I think. Kazian... No, this, no they, we have different layouts. Okay. Yeah, Kazian... It's the Earth position, because the Earth can be anywhere. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, Kazian busted ass to make this. <laughs> Was trying to crack 28 area for a long time before finally cracking it. Okay. Um, I didn't try the Earth variations, so I might lose on Cyclones. <laughs> Kazian... Well, Full input suppression it, on the lower input, and uh, I'm just seeing this bonder. works. Tribonder is a necessary component to it because you build less. The the, the hardest part is the last, the bottom left, uh, well, the bottom right, uh, elbow. That's the hardest part you have to get in. So yeah, since you have to fully suppress the input all the way until that happens. So tribonder means that you don't lose access to the vitae that is part of the output, so you don't have to worry about an access point further forwards. So that's cool. So, yeah, basically the trick to 28 was a multi-bonder. So this, it, this was the trick. Yeah, you that, have to like, do this. And yep. this pivot. Yeah, those two things always there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that is the trick to 28. So, yeah, we went from like... It's like multi-bonder was broke, single-bonder was woke, but then multi-bonder was bespoke. That was, that, <laughs> that was... That's how that worked out. Or I guess I should say Animismus was broke, because <laughs> poor Animismus. It never lasted. <laughs> it, never, it never stood a chance. All right, so Calzion writes in the solution notes, Some alchemical projects are pure insight problems. You can spend an entire week exploring the search space to the best of your ability and find nothing, only for a straightforward reminder of the fundamentals to inspire you. I shouldn't say pure insight, I suppose. It was an enormous pain thereafter, too. This local anesthetic will be useful for the surgery to fix my headache. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Alchemist Kazian. Still not a brick. Yeah, the, the permanent suppression on that input is the, the thing that saves an area over all previous. It's just annoying. So annoying it's to get that annoying. It's, I mean, it's, it's easier because you reach. have a multi -bunder. It's easier because you have a yeah. multi -bunder. It's not as bad as I was imagining it being when I thought I was trying to cut an area from my layout at the same cost. <laughs> Anime isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> Anime's a myth. Sorry, everyone. 
All right. Moving on, because these layouts get... They, they all use multibonder. That's... That was the trick. They just so. put Earth somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, Kali Rhesus and I made the same assumption that we have to be able to grab something on the back half of the output, but that is on the assumption you're not using a multibinder, because with a multibinder, that is no longer true. Mm -mm. In fourth place. Multibinder, good. At 2,540G. John John. Cycles. C. I did yeah. it again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Double edge tribonder. Yeah, the third the third edge is never used and don't don't need it. <laughs> so I'm I'm craning my head again, so <laughs> This is identical to my layout, except mirrored and rotated. Mirrored plus rotate plus L plus ratio plus tertiary. Plus you have worse tertiaries. <laughs> no, plus tertiary is fantastic. Plus shambles, plus skill issue. <laughs> Congrats to everyone who got down to 28. That's a find. Yeah, yeah and it's, it seems there's only one 28. <laughs> so it, it was very... It funny unintuitive because like i can imagine because we did see a lot of multibonders early because obviously it makes the elbows thing easier but the certain i just point, thought it was it was perfect for a you know a double slide it fits right there yeah it right it, 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 it fits <laughs> that's right what in, i started with actually right but it's really because like all right one of the things that shadow cluster says about area theory is that it can contradict itself so something like a multibonder can just seem so shit for mm -hmm. area for so many puzzles, but then with the right puzzle, suddenly it fits perfectly, and suddenly it is the best way to go about it, after all. So, yeah, this is one of those, Your like... cluster has this as well. You can't just assume that multibonders are bad. You have to, like, kind of work Try out your... Out. Maybe it works. You have yeah. to, like, work out your assumption. You have to be like, wait, what if it worked? And then suddenly... This is a lot work. of painful suppression I'm seeing. Can you actually prove that multibonders suck, or are you just using heuristics? Exactly, yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of area is about, you know, challenging your own heuristics on layouts. Like, another good one was, you can't just put a single atom earth in the middle of film crystal. That's stupid. Oh, iron. Iron, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's never going to work, because you had single input suppression is too much of a pain in the ass. Well, it would save area if you could do it, so... I mean, you don't have to. Shadow Cluster yeah, didn't. Shadow Cluster didn't, but... Well, it's, it another the that it's yet another assumption. Me. It's yet another assumption. You don't need to do that to get 20... Whatever it was, anyway. 32. I forgot. 32. It's 33 yeah. that I had and 32 that Nuchara and Shadow Cluster got. But, I mean, I get... 32 was still cursed. <laughs> but, like, you guys are still... like that, that only further proves my point about, like, not making assumptions in area layouts and kind of challenging yeah. your own preconceived notions about also, what it... needs to go where. Is it, they say it's a spitting image of a stain, stain remover. remover. It also has the tie bonder. This is the stain remover com uh yeah. Oh stain remover. Yeah. There's the there's the that's a good puzzle to take example from. Yeah, it literally is just stain, stain remover, remover with a couple AG. of extra with a couple of extra bonds. Yeah. <laughs> huh. And a bit more suppression you need to do. Yeah. Anyway. In third place, at 1,594, oh. new char. Have a safe... 1,594 is my cycle's number, too. It's the same, but they just saved... If you added uh, a negative 20 gold hex to the solution, it would tie with me. <laughs> It's good start. A good start. Air, uh, new Ashara the area main. Tringles. It's so sad to see new Ashara with a single atom input that isn't inside of the hole in the output. <laughs> yeah, damn. New Ashara knows when to not do it. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Challenge those assumptions. Challenge those assumptions. Because we did, we did, this um... This fast. Yeah. 
Actually, I shouldn't. I I, sh I, I won't comment further. But yeah, I liked. I kind of. Who else has left, other than me? Ah, uh, that would be Fiesta. Fiesta. <laughs> Fiesta. Fiesta actually tried more Earth positions. I don't think I'll. Be <laughs> I did not optimize my tertiaries that much. <laughs> Zerflex are really getting the winners well. on comms. Sorry? Sorry, <laughs> me? Zerflex oh, literally joking. getting the two winners on comms. <laughs> Silence. I hear ya. <laughs> There's no way to fit a second arm and put Earth in the middle for AC, is there? I don't know, probably. I haven't tried because it's AG, so I didn't even bother with it. I mean, where would that arm hold the Earth? You can't rotate it and also pull the output off. You have to translate it, but there isn't a place to translate from. Yeah, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yeah, it does seem like a bit of a royal pain in the ass. So, not only did Shadow Cluster say the solution space was constrained, but like, admin area, it seems to be unique. For everything except Earth Input. Mm. Yeah. Earth Input can go in like several oh, positions, but a lot of them don't make sense. <laughs> Alright. I suppose it's time. Drum roll. <laughs> in second place. Fiesta. <laughs> you did get both the winners <laughs> in. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Fiesta. Oh. I think Fiesta knew he was cooked because he only beat New Char by twelve cycles, so he knew he was cooked. Well, New there goes my first one. win of the uh, of tournaments. <laughs> so congratulations on the W best. The first win. Let's we'll make go. it into the biggie blog post. <laughs> New first time winners get a blog spot. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a block men I got a mention for a hydroponic solution almost winning. <laughs> True, yeah. So Fiesta writes in the solution notes. I have many con I have many conflicting thoughts about this solve. On one hand, the shape of the product is so pokey that all of the twenty six and twenty seven layouts seemed entirely unfeasible. I never even oh, found a yeah. theoretical bond pattern that would warrant moving on to programming. On the other hand, a double translation from the output feels excessive, and a multi-bonder with three tracks? Downright extravagant. On one hand, there are eight puzzles on the leaderboard whose AG records include a multi-bonder and tracks. On the other Somebody hand... Did the research. On the <laughs> other hand... Six of those eight puzzles are polymer puzzles. Yep. On one hand, many puzzles have area records where the last bond is two moves from output. On the other hand, most of those are large crystals that have already used that space for rotation. In the end, I've decided to enjoy this solve for its elegance instead of worrying about its odd characteristics. It may or may not be competitive, but it is still good, and it uses simple movements that are easy to understand instead of the incomprehensible sorcery that area often requires. And that's nice to watch. It's actually been... Uh, it's a good point Fiesta raises in the notes, because... These air, this area's been kind of chill to go through, all right? There's no, like, I gotta double take that fucking in, input suppression swing pivot <laughs> rotate fucking extravagant 3000, because... Yeah. Also, yeah, I'm one thing I'm curious about for this solution, why is the earth input all the way over there? It helps on the initial grabs, at least. It connects to the Vitae Mores where it gets placed, but... I put it next to the there. other input for suppression. Yeah, that seems helpful. Yeah. Of the four times Earth is grabbed, only um, one of them has uh, been convenient. Fast. The Fiesta says for fast trinkles. Mm. Yeah, I started at a... Oh, my there's a second 20... one, yeah. 
Yeah, my 28 started at 1, uh, 1544. Okay, so I beat it immediately after <laughs> making my first, literal first <laughs> 28. Yeah. Because, yeah. It came it, out the door with a winner. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these are just like cool, simple, like, yeah, rebonding Tringle movements. Tringles Those ended up being funny, actually. quite a key here. Okay. I, I set Zorfax to 29. And then when I, and I said, hmm, this looks like it'd be a 28. One hour later, 28. <laughs> as soon as I saw the multi-bonder in your layout, I'm like, oh, Bist is finding a 28. Because it, because, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and I sent it to you an hour later, it's a 28. And then an hour later, you're like, yep, 28. And I'm like, yep, multi-bonder. Because that was, that was the key. It was a Caltrop-shaped key. Okay, do I beat Shadow Cluster? Hey Zorflax, could you could you pronounce the word Tringles for us, just so that uh, chat can make sure that you're saying the word Tringles right? Tringles. I mean, my cat says to say triangles, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let me actually say the full word in case it matters. Oh, it Tringles. It's, it's a, <laughs> yeah. Tringles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying it. Tringles. Is, they have an, is it my, in is it my accent? Am I saying like, yeah, that's, it's, it's a three-sided shape. This sounds like the purple burglar alarm thing. <laughs> purple, purple burglar alarm. Nah. All right. <laughs> purple burglar alarm. Yeah. Track plus instructions plus gold plus cycles. Um, Okay. Next up is our first place solve, Bist, at 1,472 cycles. Does Shadow Cluster beat me? I can't remember if he submitted it. It sounds like Shadow Cluster. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty low on time, so... Hmm. Hmm. I'll pick that as a yes, you submit it, and it's better than this. (laughs) Let me read the solution notes. Um... Tribonder is questionable, but it makes assembly easier and fits within the footprint of a double slide. This should be min area for double slide solutions, as the only extra area upon the last bond are the slide space, the arm, and the earth input. It feels possible to save one track, however, or use two bonders instead, placing min cost at this area down to 90g. Single slide solutions may also po- be possible, but I don't know how valid they are as assembly may require extra swing space. Using animismus and not using the VT Moore's input and the debonder is also a plausible idea, but geometry is more constrained. Mm-hmm. So how do you how does your construction method differ from Fiesta's here, because you're a pretty similar. Fiesta person. says I calcify more efficiently. Yeah, calcif- Yeah, actually, Fiesta's. When we were looking at Fiesta's solve, he was worried about his calcifier. Yeah, it doesn't look too painful on this solve. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Sorry, that's pretty slick calcification. Mhm. Two of the calcifications are basically incidental. The, for the left half of the input, uh, for the left half of the output, those are basically incidental uh, calcifications. The other times I had to go out of the way to do like a whole shit ton of pivots to even reach that point. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right. All right, you, you got me. There First is one. Wish, let's go. You All got right, me. Shadow Clash submitted, yeah. You, you got me. There is one more solve. In yeah. zero's place, Shadow Cluster at 1,390. One mm-hmm. You were within 100. Where's the earth? Where's the earth? <laughs> he literally Same made the zeroth place solution. <laughs> Area and the pronouns are area main, so we only refer to area main as area main now. Area slash main. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Cluster knew how good this was. Um, check the solution title. The zeroth place solution. Uh, the notes read. Did he name that like before we, we all submitted? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, his his was not like the last submission or anything. It was his, uh, he submitted it with like a good few days to go. Oh, wow, that's he, clean. He earned that. He earned that shit. He, that's, he, a, that's very clean assembly, yeah. <laughs> he submitted it. Um, let's see, January 28th. He submitted it with like five days to go. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shadow yeah, Buster is, is the most is so skilled clean, area yeah. player. <laughs> He is our best area player, and there is not much disagreement on that fact. Um, the notes read, Since this is a movement excess puzzle, additional space for a bonder is available. It is just not intuitive for that to be a multi-bonder. But one aspect of area theory is that it contradicts itself. The region... It's like every metrics theory. <laughs> <laughs> I think area especially, though, because, yeah... So is some, <laughs> and also yeah, some some just has no theory because there's just no assumption. We have we have the infamous uh, the good the good theory. by galaxy heuristics, the, the good old yeah. plus. I think there are like one or two Zorflex heuristics that I I think belong on that list, but that's <laughs> anyway. Um, the region has to be suppressed twice for the upper two elbows, which are the main bottlenecks of this, other than the half access unbonder. Otherwise, it is merely efficient sequencing of steps with minimizing juggling. The thing that makes a multi-bonder actually save area is the final bond is able to constantly suppress the the um the nerve the nerve what do yeah. I call it? The nerve block. Nerve block. The, uh, he 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 gave it another name, but yeah, the thing that makes <laughs> what did he call it? Vitors. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that makes a multi-bonder actually save area is the final bond is able to constantly suppress the nerve block region, which is unavailable to a single bonder's final bond. Also note, the loading of the final two elbows require the middle hex of the multi-bonder to move into place, meaning you need to attach the elbows in sequence. If people were wondering... I did enumerate two track variations of this and each yeah, have I tried for two track. And each have their own problems they are unable to overcome, which pours a lot of cold water on the If you remove the uh, if you remove the top track in the solution, uh, accessing the input becomes uh, suppressing the input becomes difficult. If you remove the bottom track in this it makes accessing the triangle difficult. Yeah, okay. That's that's fair. So that pours a lot of cold water on the idea that there will ever be a 27. So this might be practical min. But there might be a 20. There might be a 5 less gold. It could be a gold save. There could be, but... Yeah. An area save... It, it looks... it 27 looks doubtful, like it'll ever exist. So... There we go. I'm happy with first. <laughs> Losing to Shadow Cluster is fine in first place. <laughs> it's an area yeah, puzzle. Big congrats, Vist. You're you're an area main. I'm, I'm an area. I'm the area main. Okay, so facts. Now I have to know. Did you invite us to on purpose to like because we are both friends? Yes. I don't think you invited me because I was an Arcos main. <laughs> Sorry, facts. <laughs> I did. I did not invite you because you were Tarkos main. No. <laughs> and I even told you I think I'm better at area. Yeah, much better. <laughs> I was initially like Yeah, so for a while I didn't know who my other commentator was gonna be, and then Biggie sent me the three thirty three and I'm like, wait shit. I actually need Biggie on commentary <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> Gotta be suspicious. Gotta be suspicious. <laughs> you literally well, sent me forty five minutes before the stream. Hey, Biggie, dearest Biggie, people tell me you're something of an area aficionado, an enjoyer, if you will. I am in need of your area expertise. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so far, everyone that's been on comms as a host has been a winner. <laughs> there was a Revix. There was a Revix last week, too. <laughs> Say, who wants to commentate next week? I don't know what the puzzle is yet. Yeah. 
But if you well, rig it for first place for me, I'd be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will be finding out not today because I'm giving you all a break week whether you like it or not because I kind of also need a break week, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. If I commentate, will I win? Yes. Yes, you will. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. All right, I need the shit dust CSVs. All right, now I actually do need to give you the CSVs. So, um, yeah. we'll take a short break while I organize that and then, like, stretch my legs a bit. And uh, grab we'll, some water. Yeah, have some water. And then we'll come back, um, knock out the showcases. There aren't many of them. So, the stream is nearing its conclusion. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think I'll actually crack five hours. Hopefully not. Um... Calyresis, yeah, it's either a commentator or Calyresis. Cal Do you want to commentate Calyresis? Just. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I am back. Hello, people on stream. I am preparing your CSV for you. Alright. I've sent you both shit.csvs. That is, in, in other words, that's the thing that I need BIST to have for the results to be on the spreadsheet. So, yeah. Oh, we can have a look at Kelly Reese's two arm tackles. Actually, I bet we got a few that came in after the deadline. Let's have a look. Okay, no, it was just Calyracis. Okay, I'll just add that manually then. What was this third tertiary for Tarkos? Um, area. Area. Uh, okay. Tarkos gold area. Alright, what went wrong? <laughs> Did something go wrong? Something went wrong, let me check. Alright, nice. Okay, showcases are ready. I'm just gonna go out, grab a drink, be right back. Character encoding. Bye, dear! <laughs> it's a character encoding issue. Oh, goodness, it's Fine Deer's fault because he showed in Discord what his title was actually supposed to be, and it was a like ASCII image. With a bunch of different density dots of, I think it's Rick Astley. It looks like it's probably oh. Rick Astley. Oh God, he was also mentioning that, yeah, his, um, he found a bug in Fire when the solution title is long and he, um, realized it because he tried to open his solution that had an entire ASCII art of Rick Astley. And it still doesn't work. I wonder what's wrong. Or probably because I had the CSVs open. No, it's still... Which file does it have an issue with? AGC. What's wrong with AGC? Oh. The one that says it's too big. 
I think. That's the only other one that would ha cause a problem. I'll change it to It's Too Big Without the. I think that was it. There we go. Character encoding errors, bleh. <laughs> and you find a way to fix that then. Alright, where's the spreadsheet? Spreadsheet has been updated. Let me take a look at how I've moved up this time around. Oh, you did really well this week. Yeah, this week I've... Now the recess is in first, as expected. <laughs> okay, I'm back. If only I had better cargoes. Sad tackles noises. <laughs> oh, a lot more people are on the spreadsheet now. <laughs> a lot more anonymous animals on the spreadsheet showing up in the top right corner for me. Biggie got the highest combined score this week. Hmm. So I got first and eighth, and Callie got second and seventh, and apparently first and eighth scores better? Yeah. Right, because it's top-heavy. The gap from first cool. to second is larger than the gap from seventh to eighth. Callie Reese is still in the lead, though. He's gonna be hard to catch. <laughs> I mean, I, uh... There's, there's, you got, you still got, what, five more weeks? Six more weeks, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you're right, there's seven total scoring weeks. I forgot week zero is one of the eight, and I just had thought that it was eight weeks. Can I just, can I just rename, rename the Tarkos TGA? That works right, yeah. John John's in, <laughs> John John's in second place, yo. Good Not job, yo. John John. <laughs> Can someone post the link to the spreadsheet in the chat? I know that someone asked for okay. it. I got gotcha. you. One moment. Oh, what? I got baited by. People. I got baited by Mara <laughs> by like half a second. Uh, whatever. John Jam hasn't gotten top three, but he sure is sweeping. <laughs> Damn, just too, just really consistent. But uh, oh my god, Cali Racist has opened up a. Uh, Four point lead on the entire competition. Yeah. You, oh boy. alchemists, have your work cut out for you. <laughs> I moved from seventeenth overall into sixth with a good week. That's good. Yeah. It's strange of me to see RG as my weak metric. But... Three of Bist's four scores are whole numbers. <laughs> and... <laughs> Amazing. Cool. All right. Ten, six, and five. I have a very clean score right now. Okay, all uh, right. So back to actual stream, because uh, I don't actually... I, I, I should, but I didn't show the solution, uh, the, the spreadsheet on stream. Um, I'll set that up next week. Um, anyway, so yeah. first I'll, of all... While you do that, I'll work on like putting in the rest of the spreadsheet. Yeah, all right. So this is Kelly Reese's, um two-arm tackles, which would have been the best two-arm... Tackle submitted. Oh, yeah, it is a similar looking brick to Biggie's. Oh, but it does such a clean finish. Ah, oh, that's that's good. Yeah, that's a very clean finish. Just takes a little too long to justify using over the three arms.
It's good to see two arms gets under 400 Tarkles, though, because my 441 felt like it was very basic. Or 442 felt like it was very basic. Yeah, interesting. It's not quite as it's it's not it doesn't quite have the sauce that Biggie's has, but it's still very saucy. Yeah, I mean this has the sauce that some of my previous iterations had, where they looked like they were on the biggest roll, and then just eventually you had to slow down and do something weird, and that added fifty tarples right there. My fear was that the only thing that could beat me was a two arm, something like this basically, two arms doing something really efficient that I hadn't found yet. But I think my three arms was the right call. Mm. I don't know, Biggie, was it? In this in this timeline, I don't yes, know. it was. <laughs> it's not Thanks like you got asking. first place or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking, it worked. <laughs> right, these are not actually ordered for some reason, so. Um, next up is a more expensive solve. Um, is that sometimes? It is Ceres, who did not submit a scoring solve, but did submit a showcase. Yeah, she's been doing showcase only, and this I think she was trying to do hexagon, yeah. So this I'm is... pretty sure you could trim an edge off the hexagon and still solve this. Am I tripping? Oh, you could take an area solve and just put EQs until it looks like a hexagon, and maybe that's just a smaller hexagon. But yeah, it is. Interestingly, there's kind of there isn't a way to answer the hexagon bounding box question without area optimizing it, and it's an area puzzle anyway, so it's going to be naturally hard. So yeah, Critelli in the middle though is very aesthetic. That's probably Critelli of the week. Yeah, that is a good Critelli for sure. Uh, series writes, This anesthetic has proven quite useful for treating mosquito bites as a small amount applied directly to the area neutralizes the itching for multiple hours. As such, I have drawn up a design for creating it in a production cabinet. Frustratingly, I have struggled significantly with this design. Perhaps a greater alchemist than I could compress it into a chamber with one fewer hexes on each side. Alas, I could not make the geometry work out and have had to settle for the larger model. The, you said applying to the area neutralizes it, and my brain trimmed out the part that was area neutral. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, neutral and area still together in that sentence. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a very. It's. I, I will say this. It looks. I, I. I really enjoyed the aesthetic of these like hexagon solves. It's just nice to just have a big hexagon to look at. It's just. It's a really clean layout and the zigzagging tracks give it this really cool vibe. I don't know. That's my take. Did you not, Zoroflex? Did you not set up uh, Jam as the same team? Um, oh, I didn't. Is that a pro is that proving to be a problem? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just edit the... <laughs> Thanks. Alright. Go and move on. I'll edit the spreadsheet. Uh, next up is a Sum 4 submission from Sergi D. You'll love to see it. I think to get the hexagon at four on a side, you would need to take one of the one translate solutions because the uh, the two translate ones have a diameter of eight, which make it too big. Oh, so it would be the same hexagon. So you need to take um, one of the one. Oh, so exactly. Yeah. Bounding box hexagons actually really hard then if you have to do a fucking single translate layout. Ugh. Yeah, I don't blame you for giving up on it series that Shrink shrinking ugh. one on the edge shrinking one on the edge ends up leaving the um uh wow i just completely lost where my brain is going never mind <laughs> i mean i, oh, have, shrinks, I... It shrinks the diameter by two that's what i was trying to say and shrinking the diameter by two squeezes it a lot yeah i um 
Yeah, I find that the, 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 I, I'd find that intimidating, and I'm meant to be a pretty experienced alchemist series, so absolutely you did well with the, <laughs> with the abounding box. Um, so this is a lot like Sergi D's solve, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a sum four solve with a piston, so I do actually have to judge the piston here. Tut tut. I'm 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 not angry. I'm just disappointed. Morikonda's at 170, 88, 75, and probably fewer instructions. So, oh, I this think is... that saves 50-some four on this. Did Morris have a piston? Yes, it did. Ew. It was more expensive. It had an additional arm, but it was uh, fewer glyphs in the sense that there wasn't a multibonder. So, this is literally just a looping version of Sergi D's Tarkle Solve. So, yeah. So... It... You see, I, I actually was always kind of irked by the fact that the winning Tarkle solve from 2022 is the Sum 4 solve. Because to me, that says Sum 4 hasn't been explored enough, but... Yeah. yeah my, my that's Tarkle my, that's solve my is take. not Sum 4. It has too many glyphs and way too much area. Oh, Mar oh, you can get rid of the piston in Mara's solve. Oh, okay, okay. It's, a, <laughs> it, it, it's fine then. I, I, I can accept it then. Yeah, the solution space for every Opus Magnum puzzle is a lot broader than you would get from your first impression. And when you have 50 brilliant people looking at it, that shows you how much space that this whole community finds. Yeah. And it's even better when there's a tournament because no one talks to each other. Then you get each individual's perspective fermenting longer versus when you have a lot of people who immediately take a conversation and then everyone sort of solidifies around what that group thinks is the one idea. Tournament puzzles are really well explored in a sort of fermented. You have I just to be like that word in this. Yeah, you see, one thing I've been trying to be careful of is, like, I have to. I've been trying to like harp on about trying to make the solution space wide enough for an entire community to explore that particular metric or two, because. Yeah, because because you guys are so good at the game and so good at collectively exploring the solution space. It's just like. I'd like to make easier puzzles. I would. It's just that you're all so goddamn good at the game that if I do that, we're going to get huge tertiary ties. And that's not really... Mm -hmm. That can't work competitively. So... Yeah, I also, do... I think I'll be hopping off the stream for now. <laughs> all right, well, congrats on the win. Thank you Take for care. your tackles yeah. inside, Vist. Yeah, I finished <laughs> my... Uh... <laughs> I finished my uh, spreadsheet duties. Y'all enjoy the showcases. And thanks for having me. You're now I know when you invite me that I'll expect a higher placement. <laughs> and Zorfax just not going to do that next time now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just have you in and you do terribly just to muddy the waters a bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'll see y'all then. See ya. Bye. Bye. Also, that's good to hear play Mike Socks. That's, uh... Yeah, I, I reckon next puzzle will be a good one to sink your teeth into because this puzzle is a very intimidating puzzle, especially like if you're not that experienced at the game and you see this giant fucking atomismus in output, you're like, oh good lord, all the bonds and shit. It's just, it, it's a bit of a turn off for newer players, um, which is why I didn't, yeah, I had blue vitriol as week one as the puzzle that would not scare people off because I knew I'd have to spring something like this eventually. I like next week's puzzle though. I think it's very good. So, it's it. I think it's all. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Do we know what the next week puzzle is for week three? No, we don't. Uh, we'll be finding out about what, a bit less than five days from now. Is next week's puzzle actually locked in? Yes, it is locked in. I've um. Oh, there's a secondary for one of the metrics that's not locked in yet, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, just a cut, like one specific we haven't ironed out. Otherwise, it's locked in. All right, um, moving on. If I if I hurry up, we can finish in under five hours. Um, Mister Puzzle is our next showcase. It is even funnier the second time. Uh oh. <laughs> is that a? <laughs> it 
It's making a polymer oh. that happens to make output so that it's min rate. Oh, ew, it's min rate. But like... <laughs> Phallic polymer style. That's that's the word I was looking for. That's you, a... You had, you had a more vulgar word in mind and you just couldn't bring yourself to say it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, um, I was like... Having a bit... I was, I was stuck because I had that word in my head. Yep. Um... Yeah, no. That's a rather phallic um, intermediary. Um, pretty good for the shitpost metric, actually. This is um, this is very well optimized for shitposting. Um, and 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 the way to and the way to minimize your uh, shitposting metric and get the most out of your shitposts is to be an absolute. <laughs> be, uh, how do how do I put this? I want to say shit heal, but I don't want to like insult people who shit post. So, <laughs> have fun, I guess. Have fun, not care about a metric, and just the dumber the joke, the funnier. There, still on that. Uh, Mr. Puzzle writes, "I'll go numb at this rate." Get it? I guess. It's an anesthetic, you go numb, and it's Got been it. right. <laughs> At rate, oh, that's the reason rate, okay. <laughs> I, I did oh. not get it then, thank oh. you for explaining, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually, the solution notes include a build up to the punchline as well, just to make it even lamer, but I thought I'd spare Mr. Puzzle from that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's min rate. We do have one more solve though, and it comes out significantly more expensive, and I think I know why, because it is submitted by No Longer Breathed In. Ah, it's a min rate solve at min period. Min rate period four. Oh, and that is as far as I zoom out. Oh, we are. <laughs> no All longer. Right, that. Hmm? I'm just impressed that you can do min rate at period four because there's so much like animismus conditioning. Oh man. Period it... three might be possible. But... Oh yeah, yeah. Period three sounds fucking horrendous though. I tried period three hair product for an hour before the stream and gave up on that. So I think that, that probably the that, challenge of period three at min rate is not a fair challenge yet. That's that's fucking hair product too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's like a that's a 2020 that's like a 2030 metric. <laughs> when we have tessellation throughput and rate period three. Yeah. Yeah, but but yes, period three would probably be possible. I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah, this one grabs every seventh brick and uses that to turn an animus missile. So, like, this is... This is the rate here, is that it takes uh, seven outputs to justify one animus misproc. Or no, seven... Two input grabs to justify one animus misproc. So 14 input sets to one animus misproc. Panic correctly pointing out the Pac-Man track is detected. Yep. Important. Pac-Man <laughs> track is how you count to seven. It, 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 it true, actually. All right. Um, the solution notes read: RP solve. There's only one harm that handles the necessary every 28 cycle splitting. Everything else is just conditional grabs. And there's only one arm, which is arm 51, which I am not able to spot, that does conditional grabbing. Also, the rhythm here sounds remarkably like the Battletoads pause music, but you do have to keep it running at standard speed to get the proper effect. This and my Tarkles solve both drop their ninth output at cycle 150, which is pretty good latency for this, considering the Tarkles is rate 16. This is rate... It should say, what is it? 9A with a hat on it. And then like dot 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 quote marks, comma. 
I don't know what's happening encoding there. Encoding issue? Encoding issue, maybe? Encoding issue. I think it's an encoding issue. And the Tarkles manages to output on Cycle 102. Mm -hmm. Nine and one third. Nine oh. and a third. Oh, I see. Oh, man. Let's just stare at this for a bit because this is our last solve. We did yes. it! Under five hours. I know I said I was going to do it under four hours, but... I lied. I, I didn't lie. I just... <laughs> you enjoyed yourself, and we've enjoyed it as well. Yeah. I can't go too fast, or I just don't have fun, and I just trip over my words, and I don't really present the solves properly, so... The only people suffering are those who can watch a VOD later. Yeah, exactly. Just watch the VOD later. You'll be... You guys will be fine. It's not like the standings change overnight. And like, I think we've already had our longest stream anyway. I don't think it'll get longer than Blue Vitriol, because I don't think we're going to get 68 submitted again. Yeah. Tournament has its uh, attrition naturally. Yeah. Fewer people join because they don't want to join something that has already had a bunch of weeks established, but fewer people continue to submit because they realize this game is hard and I'm not as good at it as some people. Yeah, and the tournament just goes for a long ass time, and yeah, it can be disheartening, which is why we like seeing new submitters so much, even if they're not, like, a top solve or anything. Alright. Yeah, appreciate you, Maraconda, for being awake at 5am for this. Enjoy your weekend. Alright. That's, uh, that's, that's the stream. I'm gonna call it there. Um, just gonna leave this bad boy running, because it crashes into itself at cycle four and a half million, or something. <laughs> Gotta love how overclocking isn't fixed, it just is deferred. <laughs> we didn't actually fix overclocking if you just leave the solve running. So I'm pretty sure this would, in theory... Like, this is the classic Lamau crash, so it would still work if I put um, Arm 2 up right next to Arm... Right next to the swing yeah, space. Yeah. I, it only takes, like, 15 minutes, too, to crash now. It's great. great. But I'm not going to wait 15 minutes. I wonder if my Grams number machine has a winding number on the piston and will actually lose to overclock before one of the outputs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but... Thank you for joining me on commentary, Biggie. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. Your Thank area you expert, joining. your area expertise was 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 needed. It was it was very it was good. It was good. It was valuable. <laughs> Dearest Biggie, I hear you are something of an area aficionado, <laughs> an enjoyer, if you will. <laughs> good shit. <laughs> oh man. All right. <laughs> good night. See you, everyone. <laughs>